Hey, it's the Bennington Show. It's a little taste of what's coming this week's GPS, GPS Athens, Georgia. Uh, it's the Bennington Show. I'm Ron Bennington. There's Gail Bennington. Yo. I'm Ron Bennington. Hmm. Uh, somebody asked me what we were doing this on, and I said, the, the next GPS, and I said, Athens. And they're like, dude, let me help. I know more Greek music than anybody <laughs> in the world. <laughs> and I go, I couldn't think of how quickly we would be canceled. <laughs> And then if we, now, are these tracks deep enough for you? <laughs> Two deep tracks. Welcome to Two Deep Tracks. <laughs> tracks so deep, even the people who recorded them have no idea. <laughs> uh, Gail? Yes? Team? I have before me the endings DNA test. What? Yes. It came in? It came in. Chris Stanley's DNA test. And the reason why you had this done, Chris, is you know nothing about your heritage. Not a single thing. Can't ask anyone about it because they're all gone. Family, I mean. Um, my parents have told me things, but I can't trust anything my father said. He's why, a crazy what did he person. Say? Uh, he said um, I, we were black. We were part black. He would say that. He would say that you were part black. Like, like, yeah, like African American. Like African American. Okay. And then I would get upset as a small child. Like, no. <laughs> so this is no! nothing I did to tease you. No, this can't happen. <laughs> That's really racism. Awful. What you just said is racism. <laughs> You're racist. Your dad's I, racist. As a Everyone's child, racist. As a child, I said that. I'm so triggered. I'd welcome that now. <laughs> uh, now, now you'll be happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Oh, my God. Look who's grown as a person. Thank I know. You. Thank I think you. it's his girlfriend. What else do you think you are? Uh, well, they also, they, well, outside of that, they would say that uh, we were Irish, and that's pretty much it. That's what they said I was. So Irish, you were black Irish, black is what they Irish. probably told you, <laughs> yeah. and which I, is Spanish and Irish. Exactly. And uh, and then um, Justin, our former intern, believes I'm part Native American because he saw that picture of my father, and my dad did have very dark skin. Yeah. Your dad, if you were a West Coast guy, I'd say that you were probably Native American and Mexican, not by yourself, but by your dad. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Your dad looks like he could have rode with Pancho Villa. <laughs> <laughs> so this is exciting for you. It really is. So you have already seen all the results now. Mm hmm. Are you surprised by anything? The answer is yes, I am. This just came in for me by a... Oh, my gosh. That looks like a very important telegram. Oh, Vito has seen it. He typed it up. Why did Vito say that we were going to play a game? Because I didn't want, I didn't want, any, I didn't want anyone else to see it. But I figured I could trust Vito. I couldn't see it. But I needed. Why didn't you just so. send so it, it just, to me? So just you don't trust the girls. Is really <laughs> yeah. you don't trust? Because they were going to be like, I told everybody. <laughs> Vito. This, even though it's not your own fault, is a fireball offense. <laughs> You're welcome, Vito. So this is your last day. Clean out your locker and answer the phones. <laughs> he just sits there while the phones ring. Drives me nuts. It's the number one thing in this business. Number phones. one thing. Phones Sound, one. production, you know, all the stuff that they don't want to do. <laughs> what they do want to do is, oh, this is what Chris did yesterday on Free Pizza Day. So uh, our intern brought in the free pizza and had a slice for me. Chris runs over to her, takes it out of her hand. So he goes, I'll give it to Ron. And then he hands it to me. And we're all two feet away from each other. Whoa. I go, Chris, why are you doing that? That's an aggressive act. <laughs> so aggressive. Weird. It reminds me of when I, like, the first time I ever experienced the way Chris treated the interns. And two of them came in with something to pitch and very politely they're like ron uh just have something quick and then chris is going yeah 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 and shutting the door on their face like get away from daddy i don't want to annoy <laughs> he ron. likes his peace and and i was like couldn't couldn't ron have sent them away if he wasn't in the mood <laughs> and yesterday that we were during a break not a lot of time and the intern she's great she was dilly dallying she, she wasn't dilly dallying <laughs> she was putting things down she had I don't Multiple want people. Plates. Who wants people rushing with yeah. pizza anyway? She's just handing it nice. She's doing it right. nice. I'm nice. not Puerto Rico. <laughs> I've been having food and water. No one needs to rush supplies to me. I just wanted to get things done quickly and efficiently. Um, I thought it was taking too long. 
So I have this paper in front of me, folks. Uh, it should just be a thing, but Vito, in his incredible strangeness, tightened it up. <laughs> Why? There are um, two things here that I find to be surprising. Really? First of all, here's the difference. I did one of these a while ago, and uh, I was showing up with... 2.8% here, 6.5%, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the biggest was, you know, what I always expected. Uh, but then I had all kinds of very, very small things. Interesting. Uh, showing that my people got around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so terrified that I was going to be part Sun Valley. <laughs> Fucking hate those people. <laughs> I hate everybody in Aston, everybody in Brooklyn. Not Upland, because quite frankly, they are part of Chester. <laughs> so they're doing their own scene. But they border. They border. <laughs> they share borders with both Aston and Brooklyn, oh, I believe. I couldn't possibly. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um. So the percentage is here larger. L much larger. Wow. Hmm. There are truly only four different percents wow um to shock me wow all right well, no one is an absolute mindful <laughs> what? <laughs> what okay i'm and really excited about this yeah and the other one is like oh that's surprisingly weird <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> now jen you uh you said you came in perfect thirds right yeah Literally 33.3% on each of your things. Yeah. And they were... It well, was European. European, which that made you sick to your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yikes. And what else? African. Yeah. And South Asian. Now, South Asian weirds me out because y y your folks are island people. Yeah. So I could see that there would be like an African, Spanish, yeah. English mix there. Yeah. How you got Asian into that game, <laughs> that weirds me out. That might have happened in Jersey and not in the yeah. islands. <laughs> well, I know, like, my grandma, my on my dad's side, she went to uh, St. Vincent from India. Like, I know she immigrated to there. So you think it's like an India thing, because there's not so mm. much the uh, the Japanese no. Asian. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. India. Yeah, Madras, India. <laughs> And then you had no kind of natural Indian, which you would expect from the from an island background. Yeah, I was, you I was know, that's fascinating. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very interesting mix she's got going on. Uh, you know, our old friend from Argentina, right? Yes, he used to be kind of racist against Brazilians, and he would say, "Look at them, they're Indians," and because he hated them in soccer, <laughs> and he said they wear feathers. <laughs> <laughs> that he made fun of like their their big carnival because they wear feathers. Disgusting. Who would yeah. wear them? <laughs> and then he would say to me, "If you were to lift Argentina up out of South America and put it in Europe, nobody would know the difference." That's how we are. Right. We are European. So they, they relate much more to let's say Spain than no, they would I be. I think Italy and Germany. Oh, okay. I don't think they they have a Spanish connection. I think they even speak Italian in argentina and i remember that's where they said the nazis ran to right yeah, argentina there are a lot of nazis the newest building in that country 1931 <laughs> when you see pictures there it looks like everything is really old <laughs> now should we save this for three days and make Chris oh my wonder? god no oh, what do you think uh all right so, do you want me to guess what I think the major one is, or an no, unexpected no, no. one? What do you think? There's something unexpected with him. Okay, I think you're definitely going to see something German, because I think that that's one of those things that happens where, uh, in this country, we kind of swept our German heritage under the rug. Who and so wouldn't? people are like, oh, we're Irish, but you're really Irish and German. Mm. So my guess is that there's going to be some German. Germanic tribe. What do you think? I would guess, um, I'm going to guess Italian. 
Italian. Oh. Okay, that's he a good guess. He kind of does yeah. have an uh, uh, Italian thing about him. <laughs> That'd be disappointing, <laughs> but okay. Why did he immediately have to just start making Robert De Niro face when she does it? <laughs> <laughs> be, All right. Let me see if this fits. I got... I got... Uh, uh, so, Voss... Uh, was with his little daughter the other night, right? We were mm-hmm. all sitting in front of the stand on a little table out front, just living a New York lifestyle. So his daughter is like pretending that she's English, right? And uh, she's like, hello, mate. You gonna have a spot of tea? <laughs> Rich is laughing like a late in life dad. He's just so happy, <laughs> right? Everything he does, he's so happy. And, you know, this is going on for a while. It's really funny. <laughs> And then he goes, oh, do you do anything else? Uh, could you uh, wake up, uh, Vito? Thanks. Um, and he goes, do you, do you do anything else? And she's like, like what, mate? What else could I possibly do? <laughs> and she goes, can you do an Italian voice? And she goes like this. Hey, Richie, <laughs> look at Richie over here with his hat on. And like, boss is dying. He goes, that's Brooklyn. <laughs> That's not a tiny. Hey, Richie, <laughs> sitting here. <laughs> ah, it was so fucking funny. <laughs> Richie heads, I call him. <laughs> Look he's always him. got a head. He's got a hat on. <laughs> Boy, Bonnie went after him from the stage the other day for how tight his hat was. She really? was not having any of it. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> tight hat. <laughs> <laughs> it was the funniest shit I ever saw. All, All right. right. Did either me and Jen I'm gonna get give it something? To you. Chris Stanley. Oh, man. The Endling from Astoria. And you'd think there would be some Greek. Yes. And this is surprising, Chris. Okay. Please tell me. <laughs> Zero Greek. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're not a Greek. What was yours, Gail? Uh, I said German was my, my first uh, guess. Of German descent. There is zero German mm. listed on here. That's fucking weird. Interesting. His 41. I'm going to hold this for Jen. Jen, what did you have? <laughs> I guess Italian. There's zero Italian on here. Oh. <laughs> Chris. There is 41.0%. <laughs> numbers that high <laughs> Irish Scottish and Welsh Definitely. that's only 41 percent that's the major yeah wow. major that you are but that's the only thing that you were pretty sure you have yeah and now you have a big chunk of your DNA like most of my DNA is an Irish I'm also be- be- being told that the Argentinians do not speak Italian do they speak Spanish? I don't know what they Portuguese? speak. They're fucking making up everything that they can. No, that's Brazil speaks Portuguese. Yeah, right? Brazil speaks Portuguese. Fuck that they up. speak what they call Spanglish. <laughs> part Spanish, part Spanish. Now, is, is there any African? Like, could I, can, am I allowed to ask? African. That's the thing okay. that you're most excited about. Yes, that's why because my dad would tell me these things, and yes. I want to see if that guy was full of shit or not. We will come back to no, that. God. Are you excited, though? Yes! All right, Chris. All right. You are 28.3% What? Baltic. What? Baltic? <laughs> What's that? That's the area around Estonia, what? Latvia, and Lithuania. I'm a fucking gypsy. <laughs> yes. That's a, I was going to be, my next guess was going to be like, where are gypsies from? Gypsies, <laughs> tramps, and thieves. <laughs> Holy shit! Baltic. Point three percent. That's a big chunk. You're Latvian, dude. Baltic. <laughs> wow. I never even heard anyone bring up the Baltic states in years. <laughs> Who even cares about Lithuania or Estonia? I didn't, I didn't think any of them even got out of that fucking landlocked shit. By the way, I had to do the same thing that you just did. There. <laughs> I have no idea where the Baltic states are. Is this are. like also like the Romani people? I'm I'm very confused what the Baltic states yeah, we make all up. Are. We all are. <laughs> like, it is gypsies, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I did see see him steal a chicken before. <laughs> You're from Estonia. <laughs> like, like, like He's Estonia. a caveman. <laughs> so your people are from the coast 
of the Baltic Sea. Damn. One quarter. More than one quarter of you. I've never heard. Like, my parents would talk about whatever, like, family sometimes. Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia never came up fucking once. Wow. And that, what was that percentage? That was 28%. 28.3 percent that's huge yeah that's, that's a good fucking, that's, that's, that's like gigantic. one whole grandparent <laughs> yeah <laughs> straight that's balls exactly it. right <laughs> one of your grandparents was a gypsy <laughs> now what do these people look like is it dark hair and pasty I, because I, so. I know they wear do rags and big giant fucking earrings <laughs> yeah, see, if get a, see if you can get any pictures of them <laughs> he is now google image All baltic right. people <laughs> It looks oh like me if God, I had a stash. That's true. Because look at he's dark haired, light eyed, pasty. Wow, look at him. Hard like living. <laughs> Are they saying that he's Baltic? What? Is... Putin's Baltic? No, I don't think so. I think that you can't. That's just what that's, you're saying. that's how they be mean to people. <laughs> All right. Chicks aren't bad looking. <laughs> I don't know. She's just a woman. She's, she's just a, a human woman. I mean, she's just wow, typical. look at your native dress here. Oh my look. God. They're fucking babushkas. <laughs> Is that your mom? <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit, Baltic. That is fucking weird. Baltic, uh, huh? All right, so Chris Stanley. Beautiful people. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Please look at this picture here. Not, that definitely uh, looks like your people. They're also known for never winning a single war. <laughs> <laughs> and they've been conquered since Jump Street. <laughs> they don't put much of a fight. No. <laughs> All right, Chris. Wow, okay. All right. Well, maybe the, this, the Baltic ship's crazy. You're also 11.8%. Eastern European. Wow. That's how they have that. So Eastern? you're behind basically the old Iron Curtain. So let's just see what they consider Eastern Europeans to be. Because um, oh. you didn't fall under the. Uh, yeah, go to geographical. Okay, so it's. Right, Central European is. All right, so Belarus, Bulgaria, Macedonia, Moldova. Montenegro, Romania, I guess Russia and Serbia are part of that too. Yeah. Yeah. And the Ukraine. I'm straight fucking gypsy, man. This is Yeah. <laughs> so you're not German at all. You're further over than the Germans. Yeah. I'm like past Germany. Yeah, it's like old Soviet bloc. <laughs> Fucking Czechoslovakian and shit. You just come from like troubled white people. <laughs> Whitish, I guess. Yeah, I guess so somewhat white. <laughs> now, <clears throat> the last thing that you are, and it's eight, eighteen point nine percent. Wow, so that's, that's a decent, one, yeah, almost one fifth. Yeah. That's a Almost decent amount. Almost one fifth. That's a fucking big chunk. And this is the one. <laughs> this is your most shocking. That's going to shock the shit out of you. <laughs> is it Native American or something please that we've already thought about? Possibly. Please, please let me Native. <laughs> that's what you want to be. More I want because then maybe get some government money out of it. Or something. <laughs> I'll go back it's to not school. A thing. You could end up <laughs> being a one fifth owner of a casino. <laughs> that is so sad great. that he said maybe go back to school. Like that's what's been holding him back. <laughs> From an education. Yeah. Will it pay off my loans? No, this is tribes. not a thing that happens. Maybe I'm fucking part of a tribe. This is super I will exciting. tell you that. I'm going to give you this hint. Yes, you are part of a tribe. Chris Stanley is 18.9%, and I, I hope I get this word correct, because quite fr frankly, I, I don't know this word. Huh? He is 18.9% Ash, Ash Kenze, I don't Ash Kenazi, Ash Kenazi, uh, Jewish. Ashkenazi what? Jew! What is he? Ashkenazi Jew! Jew! Ashkenazi Jew! I'm a fucking Jew! 18.9%. Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god, Mazel Tov, Chris! <laughs> you, you just missed two fucking big holidays. <laughs> Chris, I'm shocked. I'm part of the fuck. I'm chosen. So, you are 
Eighteen percent chosen. Mind blowing. I'm Jewish. You've never yes. heard this your whole life. Not once. My father did not like the Jewish people. <laughs> Um, he really has, yeah. That's called self hazing. Wow, yeah. How, how is that word pronounced? Because I never heard it called that. Ashkenazi Jew. What now, what that? do they mean by that? Uh, I believe that this could be uh, more like Russian Jew as opposed to. It tends Which, to be like a, a whiter Jewish as opposed to like, uh, you know, from Is, Israel yeah. or something. Now, yeah. here's the interesting thing that may really tie in with his Eastern European. Okay? Right. So. If you look at it that way, it's like a pure third of you is from that part. And then when you throw in the Baltic, you seem to be much more that than the Anglo-Saxon Irish Scottish. Yeah, it's, that's 60% pretty much. Yeah. I, I could be wrong, but I feel like they're like the type of Jew that is like Yiddish speaking. Yes. But then not so like... I mean, I think they all use the Hebrew, European, but... It's the European Jew. Yeah. It's the Eastern European Jew. You were the the type that uh, <laughs> had to run from the Cossacks. Holy <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. What? Yeah. Official language is Ashkenazi Jew. Yiddish. Ashkenazi. I never, Ashkenazi. I, never heard I just said Jewish all this time. Yeah, there are a couple different types. And that's like one of the only types I know as far as like the... <laughs> I know a lot of Ashkenazi Jews. That's and why you know one more today. <laughs> this is you, so weird. This yes. is fucking crazy, dude. I never, ever would have thought Jewish. I know, never. <laughs> and so the zero percent black, <laughs> zero black, and zero Native American. <laughs> My dad was full of shit. Wow, uh, dude. No kind of Hispanic in you at all. Wow, straight but, European and Jew. Yeah. I mean, what you what you seem to be is Baltic, Eastern European <laughs> Jew, and then you have Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. Yeah, in that mix, it so, doesn't even say English. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh wow! The, oh. It doesn't say English. Like, well, this is part of the UK. Yeah. But not necessarily English, because uh, the Scots and the Welsh consider themselves Seven different. States. Um. Who do you think, on what side is Jewish? Do you think this is your mother's side? It, I think it would have to be my mother's side, but... <sighs> that would make you real deal Jewish, too. Yeah. As they yeah, say. It's like, actually, yeah, yeah. Straight chosen. <laughs> You're going to start moving up in this company. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Change your last name. Like, how's the Seder going? So I'm not sure how it goes. Thing. You woke up this morning not a Jew. No. Today you are a Jew. This is mind-blowing, dude. I can't. I I gotta fucking start doing the holidays. I got. I guess Hanukkah is part of my life now. Yeah, that's so. You just missed two big ones. You missed. Yeah, the whole you met, year. kind of missed the whole important. Yeah, feel, the, the one that they like. I feel like that's okay because now I have all this time to prepare for the next one. You know what you got coming up though is um, Purim. What's what's uh, that? I don't even know what that is. It's Jewish Halloween. Oh wow! Yeah. Do I dress I up like Isaiah a good one. or something? Just I guess. dress like yourself. <laughs> that's fine. Should I get a yarmulke? Like, I, I, this is crazy. <laughs> Should you get one? Oh, wait. Now I found out it's in March. I thought their Halloween was next to our Halloween. <laughs> I'm blown away, man. I The amount of, like, my parents just, it never came up ever. Jewish. No, no, like, not that I had a lot of family, but not even a hint. You would have thought one of your parents would have said, oh, we have Jewish people in our family. Exactly. We don't practice. Yes. No, nothing. Not a word. Now this explains why you couldn't do the Lord's Prayer all, all this time. Thank you. Moses was stopping you yeah. from above. <laughs> Striking you down every time you yeah, attempted. As a matter of fact, the only part of you that seems like you could be Catholic is your Irish part. Yeah. yeah. There's <clears throat> nothing else here that that uh, goes. Although, I think some of your people were part of the Holy Roman Empire. You think maybe like the Estonians, the Latvians, my Lithuanian brothers and sisters? Yeah, yeah and I would say also like the... The Ashkenazi thing is supposed to be of that same heritage, right? I think so. Ashkenazi. I never heard that term. I only, oh, term, I only heard Jewish. Where did you learn from? Living Just in New York? living in New York and having a lot of Ashkenazi Jewish friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're Ashkenazi Jew, so that's so, different. Yeah, we is do so we don't really, we uh, you know. Well, here's what we do. We do not, under any circumstances, toast our bagel. That's disgusting <laughs> to us. 
And I don't like the kind of Jews who dig her through and try to get out all the Santa <laughs> ready pots. <laughs> uh, as an Ashkenazi Jew, I would never do that. Do you oh, think, God. Do you think your chick will break up with you now? I don't, zero I don't. Costa Rican? <laughs> She's one hundred percent Costa Rican. It's, yeah, it's it's all Costa Rican. Yeah, I, that's this is gonna be shocking to her. She's like, I'm dating a Jew. <laughs> what if she breaks up with you? She should have known when she sucked on that dude. <laughs> well, congratulations. Today you are a man. Thank you. I feel like I'm alive for the first time. Are you gonna get bar mitzvah? Yes, a late yes. life bar mitzvah. I, I have to. I, right? I would have to if I'm Jewish. If you were a rich man. Mm -hmm. I call that one half of the best play that's ever been written. I don't actually even know the second half. What else happened? When I watch the movie, by the time I get to the thing, it gets very depressing. I think there's Cossacks and just just sadness. But the first part is like fun. I like the fun part, yeah. I like him. He was like Archie at first, you know? Then he got all shitty about it. Boop, 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 boop. Guess what, Chris? What's that? Uh, you're going to be cutting back on that bacon sausage breakfast sandwich. That you, you have, have. to. What? You yeah. have to, Why? Chris. Because you can't you don't eat, eat pork. pork. Yeah. Pork and the cloven foot. They don't and you, dick swine? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And you definitely are not to be mixing dairy and meats together in the same, not only in the right. same dish, but even on the same no, table. No more of those pork chop milkshakes that you're always drinking. <laughs> but they're delicious. <laughs> I know they are. <laughs> this actually, this all, all right, this also fucking makes sense. I can't handle cheese and dairy very well. Jews don't. Oh my God. Oh, this is really fucking, true. This is, everything's coming Here, together. Here we just thought that you would eat yourself into some kind of a bad spot. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. It is true. No, and it it's very true. typical. And yet he eats cheese with every meal. <laughs> I love it. He does. It's delicious. But hey, you want to hate him for a second? Uh, sure. So I'm sitting out front today. You were running late. Mm -hmm. We'd always do our little get together downstairs. Beautiful day, by the way. Chris comes uh, walking up and he goes, he's walking towards the gentleman that's sitting there. And then he turns around real quick. I go, what are you doing? He goes, I thought that was Iron Mike. I open my giggle. I go, first of all, racist. I don't, because he looked nothing. Oh, no. I feel nothing. Like looked, I feel I, there was a passing resemblance. Why and, did you think it was open Mike eagle? And it then, looked like open Mike eagle. But to his defense, he thought a young white kid was Matt Drudge. <laughs> that guy looked like Matt Drudge with that hat on. <laughs> <laughs> he what had a Matt Drudge hat on. <laughs> what is that, like a gumshoe hat yeah, or something? <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice this at the bottom here. You are 0% Italian, 0% Greek, 0% Africa, 0% America, which is Native American, 0% Asian, 0% Middle Eastern, and unfortunately, 0% um, Oceano. <laughs> I guess so, it'd be Australian, you know, or? Aussie, you know, New Zealand. But I'm gonna send this to you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm disappointed. I'm not any native, but I feel like being twenty, almost twenty percent Jewish, almost makes up for it. It does. It gives you like, that thing that you wanted, that little. Yeah, you yeah. wanted a little something Special. extra, and you got it. And it's a big chunk too, which is what I like. <laughs> yeah, I, I know like, you it like, was like two percent Ashkenazi like Jew. Of <laughs> I'm like, ah, I guess that's cool. Now, here's the thing that I am I'm very interested in this and I never picked up on this before. So don't you feel like he has kind of like almondy yes. shaped eyes? Mm -hmm. This is very typical of friends of mine who are Jewish of like more like Russian Jew. Yeah, I uh, think he's a Russian Jew. Because um yeah, they almost have uh Asian type shape, so the almond shape to their eyes, but they're Russian Russian Jews. That's what my ex girlfriend was. Her mother would be very happy with me. Is that right? Yeah, she was Are Russian you Jew. Let her know? Very happy with me. Is that right? Yeah, she was Are you Russian let Jew. Her know? No, I don't want to open up any lines of communication over there. Um, I'm just curious of how that fell apart so bad. <laughs> um, by the way, though, we're, 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 well, Bob wants to bring this up, Bob. Bob in Florida. Hey, a uh, few, few lines from uh, Wikipedia. Uh, Einstein was an Ashkenazi Jew. Well, so was Jerry Lewis. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Like, what, what we call, you know, when people over here say they're Jews, 
uh, we really think the Polish Russian connection, right? right. I mean, yeah. that's what we think of as Jews in New York. Yeah. We don't have a lot of Israeli Jews, Spanish Jews. Yeah. I know, I know someone who's like a uh, Israeli Jew, and then her father is from, uh, I can't remember, but something very Middle Eastern. They're very different in personality than your typical, like, Yiddish kind of... The fun right. Jew. Yeah. Like, yes. I'm a fun Jew. <laughs> fun Jew, but you're also a worker Jew, you know what I mean? No. You're, uh, the Jewish people have a, uh, a great tradition of success, work ethic... Oh, uh, you're a hell of a negotiator. You've oh, got God, unbelievable yes. social skills. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start hanging out in the Diamond District on the block. Let's look that far away. <laughs> By the way, hey. remember we were just bringing up Fat Jewish yesterday? Yeah. He was there blocking traffic. <laughs> Did you see that? No, I didn't. Yeah, they set up a trampoline right on, uh, like, uh, wherever the Diamond District is. He's with a guy, I think he's called No. No Flaw Paul or something, the young Jewish guy who sells to rappers and sports guys. And they set up a trampoline and started doing a thing so that they could go viral. And God damn it, they did right in the middle of the street. And uh, it was them and, and like girls in, you know, G strings. Oh, nice. Yeah. So just go down go down to the Diamond District. You'd probably be very well. Yeah, you, oh, could, yeah. you could probably get a gig They'll there. Love me. I'll just go on. Hey, I'm a Jew like you people. They'd mm. love it. There's You're weird gonna have things, to though. work on your delivery. None of this though. stuff answers his hair. One of the reasons why we gave him Indian, because remember when he grew yes. his hair real long? It was so silky and yes. shiny and long. He looked like a brave. Zero percent. Maybe that's zero percent. Maybe that's a gypsy in me. <laughs> I'm gypsy, I'm Jew, I'm Irish. Uh Ed in Niagara Falls is gonna help us. Good. Yeah, Ronnie. Hi, yes. Gail. Hey. I just uh, wanted to clear up a little bit on that Ashkenazi thing. Yes. If you look it up, it simply means other than German. Oh, oh okay. okay. That's why we the just... The other... Yeah, it's commonly referred to as the Jews, though. Yes, but that's the only way Gypsy. I've ever heard. But let me ask you this. What's their problem with the German Jew? <laughs> Why do they you go have you're different Germany than us? that I don't know. Yeah. But uh uh the other Jews are known as Sephardics. Sephardic. They're the ones that that are around the Mediterranean. Right. Okay, so that's the ones that we would when we say Israelis. Right. right? Okay. Yeah. Because Israelis right. well, that's the, Yeah. Yeah, that's the two tribes that left Egypt, you know, two thousand years ago. Okay, no we know um, everything. No, we know everything and is. Oh, there was there nothing on there about uh, sub-Sahara. No, like point zero two. I mean, nothing. Nothing. Why is that weird? Yeah, well, I've had it done, and everybody I know has had it done. Has uh, that's the black in you? Yeah, because none. we all came from Africa. I didn't, buddy. It actually has for Africa zero <laughs> percent for him. <laughs> Zero percent. Wow. Yes, I, I would agree with you that yeah. we all would think that the you know the the place that we came from as human beings was Africa. Chris's people popped up much later. Oh yeah, and um, pure white. According to this, every uh, nationality that you have has rented an apartment rather than had a house in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. You don't come from homeowners. Oh, God, no. Um, Jake Crooklyn. Hey, Shalom Aleichem. How are you, my brother? Oh, uh, it's between you guys. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Dude, you got you got so lucky to find out that you're uh, you're Jewish. There's a Jewish holiday that starts at night. You can jump right in. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Sukkot. You should look it up. Google it. Sukkot. Yeah, that's what I put up my yeah, car. You sit, up, you sit outside in a hut, you eat. Oh, that's you drink the one outside. with the little hut. Oh, yeah. That's a really cool one. Chris, can you make one? I can try. Jump in tonight, baby, tonight. <laughs> is the first night the biggest night you in Sukkot? Do you got to sleep in it's it? It's the first night. It's actually, it's actually a good thing to, to, to eat in the, the Sukkot the first night, and you get to do it tonight, baby. Now, Jake, let me uh, ask you this, though. Aren't you a little turned off that it's only 18.9%? That's, that's a good chunk, Ron. Is it? Well, you know, you know, Jews, we're not sticklers. You know, a little that's bit nice. is, is all right. All right, that's nice. That's Thank very you, welcoming. Mazel, mazel tough. 
Mazel tov, my friend. Now you got to go for the circumcision to make it complete. <laughs> His was done with a jagged spoon. The eye looking for a <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> Tommy and we all can. throw you a brace. Hey, uh, Duncan, what's going on? Hey. Hey, I wanted to welcome uh, Stanley to the Brotherhood. Thank oh, you. so nice. That's such and, a welcoming uh, people. Yeah. Down here yeah. to come pick up your bag of Jew gold, you filthy heave. Oh. I'll take some Jew gold. <laughs> All right, so tonight is the Harvest Fest for you, Chris. It's a real farm-to-table event. Oh, very cool. Perfect. I love a farm-to-table. I'm sure wow. you can find a couple of these just in Brooklyn somewhere. I know I uh, smoked weed in one years ago because they would set them up randomly in uh, like the Lower East Side. Is that allowed? I. It was raining, and we figured it wouldn't oh, okay. be a problem. Then it is a <laughs> and no one was in there. We weren't like bothering anyone. It was very late at night. <laughs> Larry and Yonkers says welcome. He's sixty percent Jewish. All right. Um, Three times a Jew I am. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. He wants to take y- Yiddish lessons with you. Oh, I would love to learn a little bit of Yiddish. I know. Uh, oh, Liz mean? sent this. This is why Chris feels so comfortable in Sammy's Romanian. Oh my oh. God! It's the only place I've ever seen you dance. <laughs> That's you true. You dance like. There was no tomorrow. He there. did. He was kicking those feet. I don't remember that, but thanks. I, I trust you guys. <laughs> I would love to go back there, but you can't drink like you did that night. No, and I wouldn't want to, Ron. I uh, I don't want to go back to the hospital. But I do want some schmaltz. But you could have your chick with you there. Yeah. yeah. Let her see what you're like, what your people are like. <laughs> Me and Donnie love. Yeah. <laughs> he lives. He loves. <laughs> Muskrat Susie, Muskrat Sam, like the butt fuck in the Muskrat land. <laughs> All right, Sam, that's enough. He's the best. Yeah. <laughs> and now, he really is. and now I'm. We're brothers, basically. Dude, last night it was a great New York night. Seeing you win the one-off game, beautiful the Yankees. Uh, I just said this last night. Uh, you just got judged, right? <laughs> you just got judged. It's good. And then I said, here comes the judge. <laughs> and I said, judgment day. And then I said, Chris, the judge thing is mine. <laughs> I just wanted to jump why in and you, judge yeah, stuff. Yeah, why would you but take you know it? You was doing really, so I, good with I was that. Having, I was going to do all the judge things. I understand. Because uh, no one's ever brought up Aaron Judge's here comes the judge. <laughs> Why would you There's take? no pictures of him swinging a gavel and it hits a, <laughs> a ball out of a fence in a courtroom. Be a great Photoshop. Ba 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 ba. Fuck it, this is great. Our lives are like a fiddler <laughs> on the roof. And then, then right into the yeah. intermission. That's the last line. I've never, is it really? I've yeah. never, I've never well, seen the it. And then the that's whole audience like, points. <laughs> yeah, the whole one just points. There it is. Yeah, that's the title. That's the title. I got to watch this movie now. Eat a bottle. Mm-hmm. Ah. But remember the first time we went there, you danced the horror, and we were like, God, Chris is being so outgoing. Yeah. Because he never. It jumps up and dances no, in public. No, he's... And never. we was all part of it. And we, we yeah. were like, I was laughing that night that you were so joyful. And because normally he is a quiet drinker in the corner, brooding, not having fun, yeah. and getting drunk all the while, but just not enjoying himself. Mm. This was, for a very good portion of it, a very happy... <laughs> happy a time. very, very happy Chris Stanley. <laughs> yes, and you were forcing other people to drink. Oh, Boy. Your native drink that is uh, vodka inside a block of ice. That's very Russian. That's very that's very Eastern European. That's you, buddy. The old Ashkenazi. Didn't think I had a family. Now I have a tribe. You know? I, I bet all Jews would, would take me in. <laughs> uh, Brian in California. Yeah, hey, Ronnie. Yeah. Hey, so my father-in-law bought me a DNA kit for Christmas, which is first weird. of all weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I was out? like, I was like Chris, and uh, when I was a uh, kid, I was told I was a bunch of things, Native American, all these other weird things. Couldn't couldn't confirm, but come to find out, I'm seventy nine percent Northern European. 
That's not shocking. Boring. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, is I married a 100% Dutch girl, and they're like, ah, if you say your last name right, you sound Dutch. Well, I'm 79%. My father lot happened to be 40. Mm. Not as shocking as Chris. No, I mean, yeah. come on, man. He's 20, Jewish. 20% Jewish. It's just like other kind of life. Less, Chris. Let's mm-hmm. be honest. All right, let's say, 19.9. All right, but let's say 19. Let's, let's yeah. say 19 percent. All right, let's say 19 percent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do I know that this is his new Paris? That he's just going to embrace this way too hard. Why shouldn't I embrace it? I love the Jewish people. Always have. Now I'm one of them. Now I'm part of it. John in Miami. Hey, hey guys, how's it going? Good man. Uh, Chris, you're the worst thing that could have ever happened to the Jewish tribe. <laughs> that's so. Uh, that's so mean. That's anti semitic I mean, is what it thank is. Thank you. Chris. You're an anti semite, sir, because I'm a semite. Yes. <laughs> you're sitting on eight and a half million dollars. You're Welsh on your bets. <laughs> you're always saying, "I got no money. I got no money." I, don't. I mean, you're you're just strengthening the stereotype that we're trying to get rid of. Hmm. Seems like he's a self-hating Jew, sir. Are you Jewish? Excuse me. You're a self-hating Jew, is what I, I embrace. John, John, how is Chris's life going to change now? I I don't think it'll change one iota. It's me. Nothing's ever changed that person. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> this is different. It's different this time. <laughs> no, here's the thing, Chris. Yes. Your chick is going to have to bang you through a hole in a sheet yeah. as opposed to what you do now, a hole in a bathroom stall. It's going to be a it little bit happen. different There's for no you guys. glory holes. I thought that glory was a- holes. <laughs> That's the way Chris Fox glory holes. Are you going to Donnie Love. I got a sh- song for him. <laughs> Are you going to make her convert? Maybe I should. <laughs> I think I have to probably learn something about the Jewish people first, though. That is true, but she should convert at least eighteen point nine percent of her should. I like to see her in one of those little wigs, you oh, know, those little those, bob those wigs. Those things are so fucking hot. Those With chicks those are sensi- the hottest. Sensible shoes. Yeah, I love them. Nice long skirt, yeah. all the way to the ankle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they are sexy. And they wear the wig because nobody can see their hair except for their husband. Mm-hmm. Good. Their hair is like their tits to us. <laughs> That's how they think of it. I just want to see that hair. <laughs> I have a She's couple of big hair. Uh, red-haired children that you can't really explain. <laughs> Always like a bunch of like ginger children. Yeah. So they all look like Woody Allen. That <laughs> little Woody Allen thing. Yeah, there's so many gingers, like Russian Jew gingers. It's out of, it's out of control. Pete, Illinois. Hey, hey, what's up, Penny? Since, uh, hey, I was just confused. I've been listening to you guys for a few years. I've been picturing in my mind. I always thought Chris was like a Carlton Black type guy. So he's not black. Not even slightly, but he's like one of those hipster Jews that like to hang out with blacks. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was always that Lenny Bruce type of Jewish guy yeah. that's very comfortable hanging in the black culture. Yeah, and I'm like I'm, I'm invited to the cookout is what is what I'm trying. Yeah, to say. but you can't eat any ribs. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, just is that having poor? the sides. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I couldn't. I can't do pork. <laughs> just put some coleslaw in a bun. It's fine for me. <laughs> no mayo, please. <laughs> just, just dry slaw. I was uh, reading Colin Quinn's thing the other day, and he retweeted a, a woman who sent this thing to him that said that uh, she had met Colin uh, walking down the street in Hell's Kitchen. It was kind of like, remember me? I was the woman you sat and talked to me about, you know, comedy and stuff. I had was carrying a bag because it was coming from the store and it had white bread in it. You just made fun of me the whole time for having white bread. <laughs> <laughs> when we first came to New York, this um, this kind of uh, agent type guy took out me and Fez and we went to one of the delis and Fez added... He, he ordered a sandwich on white and everybody laughed at him and he was very offended by it. And then he also couldn't get mayo on it. And he was, he spent the night furious, <laughs> but he spent the night furious that, that he asked for white bread. And instead of saying, no, we don't have that. They're like, we they, have it, but we'll judge you. for. <laughs> they just started laughing. And the guy we were with was laughing at us. It was the last time we ever saw that fucking guy. <laughs> Well, the white bread incident. Yeah, the white bread incident caused a bunch of trouble. Um, 
Jeff in Texas. Jeff. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. Hey, uh, maybe that's why Chris has no family if his family was Eastern European Jews. Oh, my God, Chris. I'm so sorry. so sad. Oh, no. And Stanley might be uh, short. Yeah, for, it was a first name. Yeah. Stanley. Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, so you're yeah you probably took like your grandfather's first name. Yeah, just to get out of there, you know. Yeah, you had to get out. It means it's terrible trains. I'm sorry, Chris. Thank you. I wish I could have done something. Me too, but I wasn't alive. Terrible time in our in history. Hey, Lisa, Long Island. (laughs) Hi, hi, Ronnie. Hey, (laughs) listen, I know he loves his girlfriend from Costa Rica. That's right. But could you imagine? The last girl he went out with, she was Jewish, right? Yes. Yes, mm-hmm. very. First of all, he's getting this big award. What yes. award? Like, <laughs> he's got an award. You award. got a big award, Chris. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, you, know, you did. Yeah. It was an award. You, got, you were awarded some money, a settlement. You there got was a, a little something. Jewish settlement. <laughs> this is something, <laughs> something nice we all put together. It was and he's bag. mostly Jewish. Yes. Exactly. They must be shitting shiver. Yes, it must be terrible. They lost. <laughs> awful. They lost so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me the word again because I don't know Ashkenazi. So I could have just said Jewish. Yeah. Uh. Well. Yeah. Just like he said, there was the what it was the Sephardic Sephardic, Sephardic Jew. I so Sephardic, yeah. Sephardic Jew. Uh, a lot of them look uh, resemble black people. Ah. Huh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Dark skin. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Hey, what was Jesus? <laughs> I got a feeling he wasn't. Uh, I think he was he Sephardic. Would, yeah, he would have been more. This is I don't my know. Guess. If you take a look at the pictures that I've seen of him, looks Germanic. You know what I mean? Yeah, long, we, beautiful blonde hair. Yeah, very Silky. light, gorgeous, yeah. blue eyes. Get a nice picture of the Lord, <laughs> not your Lord, mine. Okay, <laughs> I, I was about to type in Yahweh. <laughs> <laughs> I right, look at him here. Just yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Really, that's nice. the Jesus that I knew right there. The sparkly one. That's the one I met. Here's the other thing: those uh, the robes that he's wearing. Has been fitted perfectly. Yeah, really. really I mean, nice. I wish had a bathrobe that would fit so nice. Look at do this one here with the the sacred heart in it. That's a really good one of his face. You could see his coloring there. Very light, Beautiful, light blue eyes. eyes. Great very beard. yeah, very light beard. Then mustache though. No, the other, go back one. to the other picture now. I want you to just look at his his hands. Mm-hmm. They're lovely. They're almost like girls' hands. Yeah, gentle. and yet he was a carpenter. Yeah, and the reason why he used to hold the the wood so lightly. You know what I mean? God, he's good. Yeah, it was just barely touching it. But he does look like he has soft hands. Yeah. I I remember Eastside Dave swore to me and ended up screaming that he said Jesus invented the chair. (laughs) He said, No, this is not a thing. He said he saw a documentary that before (laughs) Jesus, there was just stools. (laughs) So he invented the back. A oh, chair back. She, but let's face it, it's not a chair <laughs> right. until you put it back on it. It's a stool. <laughs> and then I go, well, what about an Egyptian throne? And I throw him with that. Yeah, and then he goes sure. like this. Yeah, but that wasn't for the common person. <laughs> this was an affordable <laughs> chair back for everybody. <laughs> so the, I wouldn't call that an invention. I would say make it accessible to the people, even if it weren't true. <laughs> All you right. can't be an inventor of something that you're just okay, like, I did that, but you're cheaper. You're saying Wozniak never invented the computer. <laughs> Because we had those giant computers, but he came up. Jesus invented the personal chair. <laughs> what documentary would this be? You know what? If I go into a place and they just got stools, I'm like, say it. I'm not gonna fucking sit here and have my lower back hurt. You know, awesome. Jesus did not want. Them. I'm too Catholic for that. Yeah, I don't like a, a stool for more than like five minutes. I can't handle it. Well, Chris is always whenever we leave here, he's trying to set me up with two stools. Uh, and they they even tried that the first unmasked they ever did. And I said, I did, Pop I did, up here. And I had to do back to back unmasked. I sat on a stool for two fucking hours. <laughs> like, I don't need this. Fuck unmasked, I yelled out. <laughs> uh, here's uh, Pitak. Pitak, how are you, my friend? Oh, my hey there, can I speak to, to Hook Nose, please? Oh. Oh. The, the oh. anti Semite, sir. Yeah. I, want, I want to be the first to oppress him. Anyway, Chris. It's Maybe terrible. your name is literal. Maybe you're related to a rem- person born from Romanian Jews. Maybe you're really related to Stan Lee. Oh, shit. Marvel Comics, Stan Lee. 
Stanley Lieber. Say it was the so, first ma- so maybe you're comic royalty. That'd be pretty cool. I always loved that guy. As Why? A, as a kid. I loved it as a kid. Well, now you're an adult. <laughs> I take the take picture, Jesus. Then he should be the. See you later, Pit Duck. I don't appreciate this. This anti Semitic. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's unfortunately. Gonna happen it's... Now. I'm going to find myself in a lot of fights then. I mean, you're in a safe space here with us, but Thank the rest you. of the world, yeah. not so much. This is a very safe space for you, Chris. I appreciate Except for that. the Baltic part. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hate the Baltics. That... <laughs> Weird gypsy people. I call them blood sucking ball kicks. <laughs> like having a tick on your balls. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, my wife. <laughs> By the way, I'm, I'm guessing that's Baltic. <laughs> I don't have no, no proof. I think that's what, well, that's a <laughs> Russian. Well, well, we went. <laughs> Chris does the best impression of him. He does all the great impressions. It's fun. Hey, Jason. <laughs> this is fun. I'm having fun with my Judaism. <laughs> it's great. Jason, what's up? Hey, uh, I was just wondering, now that Chris is Jewish, is he going to have a harder time getting rid of his Wagner collection or his foreskin? More anti-Semitism. Reminds me of terrible times. He was just telling me how funny he thought Curb Your Enthusiasm was this year. Oh, yeah. Your people, uh, the sense of humor have kept you going for a long time. Oh, for such a long, yeah, through just the darkest of times. You think he'd have better timing? Yeah, he's got zero. (laughs) Well, now that I know, I think things are going to come together. (laughs) His his uh, timing is off a little more than (laughs) eighty (laughs) percent. Harry and Raleigh. Hey, uh, Ron. uh, I want to know: Are you going to be giving him both? Christian and Jewish holidays off? Look, whether he comes in or not, nothing changes. Okay? So he could take off a week and there won't be a single change. I'm going to have to get out of here before sundown. Uh, I think that's one of the things. Somebody, uh, the, uh, oh, we're getting hammered here, but somebody said put up the picture of Jesus from Heaven is for Real. Right. I'm not familiar with this uh, film. <clears throat> Oh, that looks like Chris. Yeah, that is very similar. Nice bearded. That hair explains too. the hair. Yeah. <laughs> the hair, his current hair. What does he fucking remind me of? Christopher from The Sopranos. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Kind of looks like Bradley Cooper, too. Just around the eyes. That Bradley Cooper's <laughs> gorgeous. He's a hunk. Hi, Chris. Yes. I know. I'm going to get as Chris and Vito, because they both. <clears throat> Sit around and talk about guys and how who's the attractive guys. Mm-hmm. So you got uh, Cooper. What's his first name? Bradley Cooper. Right, Bradley Cooper, Vito. Bradley Cooper or Chris Pine. Bradley Cooper or Chris Pine. Oh, I prefer Bradley Cooper. Uh, Chris, give me Chris Hine. Hine. Fine. Uh, <laughs> that That's your no, thing. Yeah, fuck that guy now. <laughs> <laughs> I got fuck this dude. <laughs> That's Chris Hine. That is not. That's Chris who Pine, you said. The actor. Oh, Chris Pine. Yes. I thought. I, I, I thought. I thought you said Hine. So you just picked that Why random I? kid named Chris Hine, <laughs> and, then he's, and that kid's a minor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's uh, yeah. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me Chris Pine. Um. It's just on pure looks. By the way, Gary Goldman is obsessed with one of them. Which do you think? Uh, it, for his looks? Yeah. I'm going to say Chris Pine. Vito? I'm going to say Bradley, Bradley Cooper is so much more classically handsome. Chris Pine's the hottie. One of you are correct. Fuck. As well as another one. Oh, oh shit! Gary <laughs> Goldman. <laughs> Is crazy about he says non sexually, but it's impossible. Just can't stop thinking. About it. <laughs> he gives an example, and it's from his ex, so I don't want to give it away. But it's very funny. <laughs> He's a very handsome man, Gary Goldman. Well, yes, Gary Goldman is a very handsome man. Is he a handsome man or just handsome for a comedian? Handsome man. Okay, I think he is a very handsome man. Don't make Big J and Voss and everybody else upset. <laughs> He's like, the most handsome man. <laughs> say that in they're comedy. all handsome. <laughs> say that they're all handsome and they get their feelings hurt. 
Um, hey, uh, Reg, what's up? Hey, uh, I think uh, the guy that started Stanley Tools was Jewish. Maybe Chris is part of that tool empire. Uh, That'd be hmm. wonderful. Chris in Virginia. Hey, uh, it's important. You guys talk about how welcoming Jewish people were, and I, I went to a Jewish wedding, and they were so welcoming to me, and then they asked my name, and I said, my name's Chris, and it immediately ended, because you can't be named Chris and be Jewish. You're named after Christ. So you're automatically not Jewish if your name is Chris. It Here's just doesn't thing. work. Wrong. You, you guys are forgetting this. No. First of all, we know a lot of Jewish guys who change their names. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, then Chris did. Stanley has to change his name. No, but that's what the show business Jews do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Show <laughs> business Jews change their name. John Stewart's like John Cohen or something. No, but stay so with John. Let's think if we can think of uh, one Jewish guy named Chris. Mm, I can't think. Me neither. This guy's right. <laughs> no, he can't. No. Chris D- Parnell? Is he Jewish? What's your middle name? William. Uh oh. Mm, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. not, that's not uh, no. Jewish at all. Stanley works, though. Yeah. I just could do Stanley from just. Everyone just call me Stanley. Like Madonna does? Yeah. Madonna's not a good Jewish name for you. <laughs> Why don't you just go with Hecky? <laughs> Hecky Stanley. Why don't you go with Chris Pine? <laughs> Your fucking boyfriend. Your underage boyfriend. <laughs> Not my boyfriend. I like that really? he just looked up a picture of a random guy and goes, I'm going Chris Hine. Like, that's how much he doesn't find Bradley Cooper attractive. Yeah. Uh, By uh, the way, my I feel like I didn't really think of Chris Pine that way until I saw Hell or High Water. Great. And then 100%. I was like, was Chris Pine has got something going on. Even though he was very attractive, I thought he was the second most attractive brother. I like this crazy fucking, yeah. I call that crazy cock. <laughs> um, Chris, you sent this in. What is this uh, video? It's the new hit <clears throat> rap video out there. I want to fuck Trump. Uh-huh. Now, could you also tell me about the video other than your own desires? <laughs> no, this is the day of the video is I want to oh, fuck Trump. That's surprising. Okay. Yeah. So this is the new hit. Chris, yes. why would you think that's possible for the air? <laughs> what makes you think that that is airworthy? I apologize to everybody. My producer just got a DNA test. Did you think that that was going to get on the air, Chris? Did you think there was a reason for you to stop me? I thought, I thought it was a... Uh, you said this is hilarious. <laughs> Chris. I would do. I think that that was. I think that was offensive on like eight different spots, and I'm just going to apologize to everybody. Just across the board, I think everyone's offended. I know I am. <clears throat> I'm trying not to get mad at you today. I know it's a very big DNA day. Uh, hey, we got the dish coming up. The dish is coming up. I love the dish. But first, I'm going to talk to you about something. Okay. Ring. Oh, God, how I love this product. How it's blown up the last couple of years. Ring's mission is to make neighborhoods safer. Today, over a million people use the amazing Ring video doorbell to protect their homes. Uh, Ring knows home security begins at the front door, but it doesn't end there. So now they're extending that same level of security to the rest of your home with the Ring Floodlight Cam. Just like Ring's amazing doorbell, Floodlight Cam is a motion-activated camera and floodlight that connects right to your phone with HD video, two-way audio that lets you know the moment anyone steps on your property. See and speak to visitors, even set off an alarm right from your phone. With Ring's floodlight cam, when things go bump in the night, you'll immediately know what it is. Whether you're at home or away, the Ring floodlight cam lets you keep an eye on your home from anywhere. Ring floodlight offers the ultimate in home security with high visibility floodlights and a powerful HD camera that puts security in your hands. With Ring, you're always home. Save up to $150 off a Ring of Security kit when you go to ring.com slash comedy. That's ring.com slash comedy. That's ring.com slash comedy. Phones, Jen's got the news. Let's dish. 
To the gossip they're saying on the radio Well, it's time to dish. <laughs> I don't know if there's any gossip out there today. I can't imagine. I know I'm hungry for a dish. <laughs> the Less Dish segment is brought to you by Dish. Dish listens when no one else does. Dish tuned in to you. To learn more and sign up today, call 1-844-CALL-DISH. Go to dish.com or visit a local retailer near you. Let's I'm going to. <laughs> well, the first dish of the day is uh, Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones. Their feud happen happening uh, during the Batman Forever movie. All right, this is a little late. <laughs> this dish, <laughs> this is a dish best served cold. This dish seems expired. <laughs> Twenty five years. <laughs> Twenty five years now. <laughs> Ma'am, can I take this dish back? No, I'm still working on it. <laughs> Very old. Well, he recently went on an interview. Who said that? Which one? Um, Norm McDonald Live. Okay. Is where he went on. And uh, he said that he went up to Tommy Lee at a uh, at a restaurant, and he said, um, you know, I hate you. I really don't like you. <laughs> well, that's what Tommy said. I'm sorry. And then he said, what's the problem? And then he pulled up a chair, which he said probably wasn't a good idea. And then Tommy said, I cannot sanction your buffoonery. <laughs> now, this happened recently, though? Yes. On okay, Norm so McDonald recently, Live. even though they knew each other 25 years ago, <laughs> he sees them in a restaurant, he pulls up a chair, yeah. and he goes, I'm, I don't like you. So did they did they always have issues? Did they have issues back when they were working together then? Yes. He's saying that um, he believes that Tommy hated him because Jim was the star of the movie. <laughs> no, I don't think that's why anybody um, <laughs> gets mad. I mean, let's face it. I love Jim Car Carrey, but I don't know if I could drive, take a long car trip with him. There's a lot of people like that that you probably enjoy their comedy, their entertainment, their music. <laughs> yes. That doesn't mean that they are an enjoyable person i'm gonna give you an example Just, i can't drive anywhere with chris right. Stanley. Happens. you guys have traveled with him it's terrible it's not good. <laughs> some people find me to be a little grating they <laughs> say that i'll find the cloud in every rainbow <laughs> <laughs> i think that the glass is half filled with cow piss <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I could see. I mean, Tommy's not that kind of a guy. You know what I mean? What if the reason that Tommy Lee, uh, he Tommy Lee Jones hated him is because he just was doing Jim Carrey impressions all the time? <laughs> yeah. Like Jim Carrey was being like, "All righty then." Then I like, would that, love it. That's an impression of yourself. <laughs> Stop bragging like you're I, good. I'm a pretty good pet detective. <laughs> 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 now, here's the thing, Tommy Lee Jones. Is he still in Motley Crue, or did he decide? <laughs> <laughs> if I if my name was Tommy Lee, I go. Oh, there's already one Tommy Lee Jones. I don't want people to confuse us. But whenever you are more of either the gruff personality or the straight man, everyone's going to be like, "I'm Team Jim Carrey." Yeah. Like for example, uh, Richard Dreyfus and uh, Bill Murray. Bill Murray disliking each other on the set. You're like. I feel like Richard Dreyfus was wrong, but he probably wasn't. He was probably just annoying the shit out of Richard. Probably, yeah, Richard <laughs> Dreyfus was probably trying to make a movie. <laughs> Not crack up in between sets. Because it was like a real life what about Bob. Like he was actually fucking with him. Like everyone loved him for real. But do you think that's why Bill Murray was doing it? It to could like, be, yeah. uh, You know, make it so that carried over because it did carry over. But you can see it in the movie he, because you know how annoying that would be, even if that were the case, because you would be like, look, I'm an actor like you don't have to fuck with me. I'll do my own acting. You know, I, I got annoyed with in that movie was the family, right? Your dad is a psychiatrist. He's saying, stay away from this troubled, right? insane person. And they wouldn't. And not only that, they put the kid in bed with him. <laughs> <laughs> but Bob is fun. <laughs> yeah, a lot of pedophiles are fun. <laughs> Your dad could be fun. <laughs> Anna. <Ooh. laughs> oh, God, I hate that part. You know, with those little puppets. Oh. So annoying. <laughs> um, good morning, America's here. <laughs> Why would Good Morning America have that stupid buck on? <laughs> Baby, step. Baby step. A random psychiatrist. 
<laughs> so fucking and guy. then they're like, we would love to see baby steps in action. Why would they suggest that? <laughs> We're just like, let's have one of your nuts on. This is great. <laughs> now, I uh, had on the Hoda show today before I came in here. And they had a woman on who she wanted to help you lose weight. Uh-huh. And she was just, she had like eight dishes and like, this could be a great breakfast for you. It's got some fruit in it. granola, <laughs> And I'm like, I have seen this segment my entire <laughs> life. And yet people are so much fatter yeah. than when I was a child. You know if what I mean? you haven't picked up on fruit and granola by now, you're you never going to get it. Granola. Uh, this is nice. It's a turkey burger without the bun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm aware these are foods. I choose not to eat these. This is called sweet potato fries, <laughs> and you bake them, so there's almost zero taste to it at all. <laughs> yeah, I you love, love spaghetti, but yeah. do you love spaghetti squash? <laughs> <laughs> I put some shaved carrots over top of it. It's like Just some turkey meatballs. <laughs> no. I don't want None of these. Ideas. Never. <laughs> None of these. <laughs> Let's dish. <laughs> well, um, Alex Morgan, she's from the U.S. women's soccer team. Mm, she, let's uh, go USA. <laughs> That's what I say. USA. <laughs> USA. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Morgan? Yes. Um, she had a big in- incident at Disney World where she got kicked out with a couple other uh, members from the Orlando City uh, soccer team. She's really pretty. <laughs> she is pretty. So what was the? How do you get kicked out of Disney World? You cut line. Well, <laughs> what'd she do? <laughs> no, she was playing a drinking game. Uh, <laughs> She's in Disney World. The teacups. In Disney World, yeah, it's like where you go around Epcot, and it's kind of like drinking around the world. Um, yeah, she put that up on her Instagram. Um, annual around the world in eight hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no but big. here's the deal. If you do that without becoming a nuisance, nobody's, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. She had to be doing yeah. something. She was, I guess, like acting rowdy. So, yeah, she got banned from Epcot. <laughs> now, what's her name again? Alex Morgan. Alex Morgan, not Captain Morgan. <laughs> Good one. That would have been my line. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's what the, what the uh, Disney security said. <laughs> they took them to a conference room to like ri- like settle them down, and apparently when they got there, they were still going nuts and yelling, so they had to be escorted out. Well, it- Vito, you're not the dish <laughs> gal. You're not the dish gal. Give this some- isn't yours. Yeah, I guess they were acting rowdy, and then they so brought them to a uh, the rowdy <laughs> were the old Tampa Bay soccer team. <laughs> Oh, is that all of them? This yeah. is them. Yeah, uh, them they look for their fun, bad though. fucking Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that blonde? She's so shirts. cute. Which one? The blonde in the front. She's so cute. Looks like she's getting dicked. <laughs> <laughs> dish on that. Maybe that's what I like about her. <laughs> um, when you see a group like that, do you feel bad for the person who's just like a single? Yeah, I do. All these couples. It's just like one. There's a menage going on right here. Yeah, that is a menage. <laughs> They're they're very happy. And then there's an odd lone black guy. I, see, I noticed that. Sort of too Hispanic. And like, there's this like Hispanic and black side. <laughs> like there's some kind of Afro Caribbean jazz band that showed up out of nowhere. Okay, let's do a group pick and all the minorities up in the upper left, please. That's how we do it. I couldn't be in that group then. Where would the Jews sit? I'm sitting next to Chris. <laughs> Thank you. Well, this is where the Ashkenazi sit. <laughs> hey, Chris, now Very... you're Jewish. Forget all those Jewish jokes I've made over the years. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I've... Since you laughed at every one of them, <laughs> I've made no problem. And then I'll forgive you for that hideous fucking rap song. Done and done. <laughs> done and done. I forgive. I forgive. <laughs> I forgive if you forgive. And forgive and forget. The Jews are forgiving people. Uh, Vito just wants to say that Jen did everything wrong. <laughs> All right, so this girl, yeah, you, the whole group should be thrown out. I agree. It's for children. It's not for you to go around drinking. Yeah, it's for it's children. Not, yeah. Go to Universal <laughs> Walk or whatever that place called. City Walk. City Walk. City yeah, Walk. Yeah. City walk? Mm-hmm. yeah. Why does that seem weird to me? You're not a city. <laughs> it's you pretend like you're walking in the city. <laughs> this is what it would be like if we could walk in the city. <laughs> but you can, unfortunately. But drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Today there was I saw a heavy set woman riding her bike, right? It's like, already funny. Yeah. I was, and then she's just screaming as we're crossing. I've got the line! 
right. Shut up. <laughs> and someone said that exact thing, fat ass. <gasps> oh, Shut up, no. fat ass. Who yeah. was it? Uh, fat shaming. Yeah. They fat shamed this fat lady. <laughs> but it was really more loud shaming than anything. I don't think it was based on her weight as much as what could hurt her for yelling, I've got the light. <laughs> and she yells, I've got the light. You fuckers on bikes run through every red, every light. Light, every red light in this town. So and now annoying. you're trying to have the right away? <laughs> I say, the hell with that, man. <laughs> and the hell with you. Uh, I'm going to be out to stand tonight. Nice. Mm. I think, I don't know, 8.15 or something. <laughs> oh, go ahead, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there was a Sex in the City three oh, that good. was in I'm the works. Watch it. <laughs> well, it actually got shut down. Oh, damn it, um, no. it was supposed to go into production this week, but it's now been shelved. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker told Extra that, and uh, Kim Cattrall, which uh, everybody knows, her and Sarah Jessica Parker when they were doing Sex in the City always had like a feud against oh, each I other. Know that. Yeah, they they never uh, really liked each other. <laughs> and you think that's the reason? <laughs> they said that that might be one of the reasons, and also when they offered her like a year ago to do Sex in the City movie. Uh, she said that she had a bunch of demands. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, uh, that's what Warner Brothers said that Kim Cattrall, oh. you know, she shelved the movie. And then um, she also tweeted, retweeted a fan's message that said, "Let Kim be. She doesn't owe fans a third movie. The second movie was terrible as it was, and her projects since have been great." Cattrall wrote alongside the user's tweet, "Preach." <laughs> Preach, Jesus. Oh. Yeah. But let me. I, I don't. I don't know the sex of the cities, but. Couldn't it work without Kim Cattrall? I mean, she's not. No. She's not Sarah <laughs> Jessica Parker. Yeah, Sarah Jessica Parker is the main character, but the whole thing is about the group. Yeah. Okay, but it's what a- if there's a new girl in the group, right? And that girl owns a website called Goop. <laughs> Good idea. And she also loves sex and martinis. Yeah. Martinis <laughs> and steaming her vagina. <laughs> Ladies, it's time to steam your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Goop. Come here right away. This hanky, five thousand dollars. Why? Now put this egg inside of you and hold it there. Is that what she does? Yeah, it's a. I think it's called a jade egg. Yeah. So it's an egg, uh, a made of jade that you stick inside your vagina and hold it there for reasons <laughs> unknown. For, for, I think they get your vagina more jadey. <laughs> Just uh, to help you work the muscles in Cheetle. there. I don't know. Uh, but honey, me- did you take that jade egg? Because I'm hitting something. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cold. It's cold stone it's in cold there. cold and stony on the top of my penis. <laughs> um, Very weird. By the way, that's just a regular Ooh. rock. What does that go for? <laughs> Try to find yeah, out. I think it's but, very expensive. Why wouldn't it be? You're putting it in your and vagina. I, and I think many <laughs> doctors have come out to say, this is not a good idea. <laughs> like, don't stick this rock in oh, your what vagina. Oh, they know? <laughs> medical school, please. I could do medical school so easy if I did college first. I'm only seeing as they're sold out and trying to find a price. Yeah, of course they're sold out. <laughs> Eggs for your Yanni? We're not calling vaginas Yannis? <laughs> no, is that Yoni, Yoni, yeah. <laughs> it's Yiddish. <laughs> not everything is Yiddish. I should have known that before anybody says the fact. We don't do this in our culture. No. We don't give the J egg. <laughs> we do a J date. <laughs> <gasps> Chris, you could have been on J Day. Oh, he tried. They didn't fucking want him. Yeah, I said I was. I was like a little bit Jewish, but I couldn't get any Jewish women interested. But you were lying to women, and you ended up actually being truthful. I know. Now I should just jump back on there. They're twenty three dollars for a set of three. That's oh, the not high bad. end. It's the oh, high okay. end uh, vagina that's, rocks. I thought that's it was not even more... high end. Twenty three bucks for three. No. Jesus Christ, I paid for more than that for real eggs. <laughs> By the way, I only have one vagina, so it looks like I'm re-gifting two of those eggs. Either put one in your mouth, I'll one the other one up your asshole. Just get everything nice and J.D. <laughs> J.D. days. There's something J.D. about this. I'm feeling a little jaded, if you guys know jaded. what I mean. There's a jade egg in my vagina. That's what I meant by it. <laughs> Can you swallow something with your vagina? Because I can't find mine. (laughs) 
Dish, 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 My wife, she likes the dish. She dish. Well, Kevin Hart and his wife. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh, that was boy. good news. Good, good news. news. They're doing very well, and they just had a uh, jungle-themed shower the other day. Oh where they, boy, uh, no, <laughs> not touching it. <laughs> Everyone, uh-uh. be quiet. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we're going back to the dating. <laughs> what? I thought of something that's so good. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she. Uh, it's a jungle f- themed? It was a jungle theme. Maybe she'd like to get a cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> cockatoo. Are you okay? I'm all right. I cut out of it. Someone give him the Heimlich. <laughs> hey, that's against his religion now. They hate the Heimlich. Yeah, the bad yeah. Germans. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Gay bed, German. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things that he did at the uh, jungle themed birthday party was uh, he didn't have a lion there, so he like had this uh, dog and he put like the lion fur around the neck. So it looks like so funny. Lion. And he said it was like balling on a budget. Oh <laughs> boy! Oh boy! <laughs> but they so also... he's all forgiven by you and the and the ladies, huh? No, I don't forgive him, <laughs> but I guess his wife does. You know that's. That's her problem. Jen holds a grudge, <laughs> even for, for other never. women when they don't. Yeah, she Jen wants to meet a very rich guy who wants to stop <laughs> having fun. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, Jen wants one of those husbands that sits outside the dressing room. You know what I mean? Then you come out, you're just you're just sitting there. They have that special room. I've, I've never had one of those yeah. show husband. <laughs> yeah, because that dress is expensive, but they do have magazines for the husbands. <laughs> You can sit there and read a fucking Sports <laughs> Illustrated <laughs> while you're waiting. Is that so? That's, that's her right her, there. Yeah, and she's they, beautiful. And they named their son Kenzo. Kenzo. Kenzo rolling in his Benzo. <laughs> Pretty cool. What's that picture? Oh, that's the same one. Yeah. Oh, fucking eyes are falling out then. Stay all right, so all's, all's good back in his life. Good for yes. him. Yeah, glad. Yeah, glad he had better. his cake and ate it too. Good for him. <laughs> You think he just gorgeous. You think he just made a jungle theme just to promote Jumanji? You think it was like a tie-in? Thank you, Chris. Oh, Everything he does right? is for that paper. That's right. <laughs> that bank. That Skrilla. But yeah, because this is a ridiculous <laughs> theme thing. Yeah. But if I had Jumanji coming out, yeah, I'd do it. Too. Isn't the theme of any baby shower just baby? Like, that's the whole point. <laughs> like, do you really yeah. need something extra? I don't know. I did yeah. an 80s one. <laughs> That's the, uh, the dogs. <laughs> My baby showers. Pimps and hookers. <laughs> Pimps up, hose down. See you at the baby shower. <laughs> Those dogs are fucking funny. That's though. really cute, actually. It's a really good idea. That's a really cute family, too. They're going to be okay. I'm glad they didn't fucking Somehow. destroy it over that fucking dancer. <laughs> yeah, she was just some dancer, you know? Yeah, but she's a victim, too, Chris. Um, I didn't think she didn't that. know about it. Um. <laughs> That's what she said. Hashtag dope pick. It is a dope pick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not <laughs> wrong. Just click on it. See how many other dope picks <laughs> there are. Let's, <laughs> let's decide whether these picks are dope or not. Uh, let's see. That looks like somebody's... Uh, looks like someone's getting hurt. Oh. Uh, here, Foster? that's kind of dope. Yeah. That dude with his tongue, tongue out. out. Yeah. Dope. All right, there's no white people in dope picks. <laughs> That guy's just working on a laptop. That's not dope at all. Am I allowed to stop? Start hashtagging dope pick. <laughs> Most recent dope pick. That's cute. Oh, really cute. Oh wait, Chris, get out of it. It's a kid's ass. Oh, I know. And then here looks like some nice things you could buy. Oh, like uh, business cards. Okay. <laughs> These are pretty dope. People Ooh, don't even have business cards dope. anymore. <laughs> dope ass rainbow. Dish. <laughs> Dish. Yes. Well, there's a new. Yes. <laughs> Please, Steve. <laughs> well, there's a new ha- Hugh Hefner biopic coming oh, out where Jared Leto is. <laughs> That's pronounced Leto. <laughs> Leto. <laughs> Jared... No. Oh, so... <laughs> Leto Leto. <laughs> Look, Vito wants to get in so much because it rhymes with his name. No, Vito. No dish for you. <laughs> He's uh, he will be starring as Hugh Hefner and Brad Hefner. Ratner. <laughs> <laughs> and Ratner, Br- Rat- he's directing the oh film. Boy. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! I don't know. There's been so. I mean, there's an Amazon series on Hugh Hefner. 
It's like yeah. the day that he died. I go, there's nothing left for me to say. It's all out there. If you want to know about you after <laughs> there, it's, uh, I, he's got to be one of the most written and talked about people of the last century. Absolutely. Yeah. And now this was something that is just now in the works. It was it? A, they started it um, in April. It's when it first came out that they were doing the biopic. By the way, this is a little known thing about Playboy. Go back to every Miss March in history, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. They all have an overbite. And what? no one knows why. Every single one of them has an what? overbite. Yeah. That's weird. That is uh, so strange. <laughs> Let's dish. <laughs> dish. Well, uh, Sam Smith. Oh, God, he's great. <laughs> oh, wait, I was thinking of Snuffy Smith. <laughs> he... <laughs> He just went public with his new boyfriend. Oh, jeez. And- Bold. Wow. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, you brave man. <laughs> now, they're an item? Yeah, they're an Let's item. Good. His name's Brandon Flynn. Oh, he's, he's on the cute. show, the Netflix show that me and Chris watched, 13 Reasons Why. I didn't know that guy was gay. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, why would you? <laughs> I don't know. What did you, what were you, you looking you for? Have, you could tell? I thought I could tell. Yeah. He's really? an actor. How would you feel if I said I had Judar? <laughs> you know what? Now I understand. Now I feel better. So is that like- the guy he's dating right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's Steven Seagal. Now, this is uh, that uncomfortable gay thing where they look too much alike, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happens all the time. Yeah, you're right. I guess I didn't pick up on that at first, but they def- they look like they could be brothers. Ugh. Oh, it's kind of sex Slippery brother slope. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of sex brothers. We're Eskimo <laughs> brothers with not even a girl in between us. <laughs> well, the last dish spot segment is brought to you by Dish. Dish Why, listens- it's over? <laughs> well, how did it end so fast? <laughs> dish listens when no one else does. Dish tuned in to you. To learn more and sign up today, call 1 844 call Dish. Go to dish.com or visit a local retailer near you. Oh, man. That the sounds dish. Great. That's not, that's not, that's some nice dishes today. Yeah. What was everybody's favorite dish? I like Kevin Hart dish the best. Mine was vagina egg. <laughs> <laughs> vagina eggs. Do, 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 do. Vagina eggs. Do, 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 do. Vagina eggs. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Goop, 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 goop. I go to goop every day to find out different things. I uh, sold my car and got some face cream. <laughs> Wow. Well, oh, God, I feel so good in my face. It's made out of um, severed baby heads. <laughs> oh, no. You just wipe it on, you get the face feels like a baby head. Seems a bit much. All the fun to know. <laughs> baby so brains. soft. Yeah, I put my fingers right in there and I just rub it on. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. So comfortable. Seems expensive to make cream out of baby heads. Hey, guys, I want to have a vote right now. Do we let Vito back in or not? I mean, he doesn't have his own segment. Vito, Are we doing secret ballots or regular? You don't have your own segment. No. Chris had a great segment today. His DNA. We had the dish. You got nothing. Nothing at all. How's your Italians for uh, Christopher Columbus Day coming along? Good. I'm going to have some stuff for you tonight. Well, forget for me. Does anybody want to run it? I want to run it. You're oh. not <clears throat> fucking V. This is what you know. What just. Stop being stupid, okay? That can't be your brand. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my brand to be stupid. Uh, I'm going to talk to Dan today. Why do you wait so long? I, I didn't know we made a decision. Everyone always thinks I didn't make a decision. When I, when I say that's great. Wouldn't that be this decision? I think it's a go. Who are these girls? I'm not sure. Uh, one of them works here. I'll find out who the I other know one's one are. of them works here. She's leading <laughs> two like rock stars. In. Two strangers are yeah. in here. <laughs> this is why like I'm not. They're not doing a town hall with Roland today. I saw him down that way. I guess it's a town hall asking about Roland's job. <laughs> oh, I can't, your brand can't be stupidity, you know. And I tried to give you your own segment right now. And you shut upon. I I didn't have my own. I I. I don't have a segment. Chris, would you remind me the next time you fight with him to yes. take your side? Ron, take Because I never side. do. Do you notice that? I know. Because I, I feel understand. like you're the older big bully brother. <laughs> I'm, you know I am I mean? a bully. That's yeah. It's true. But I'm a I'm bully. I'm going to bully him with you now. <laughs> All right, cool. But also now you're bullying with a Jew. So now it's... It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a thing. <laughs> it is now, Gail. <laughs> Look, He's I'm, gonna I'm take sorry. this I'm too just, far. It's not too far. It's my people. It's my tribe. And it's my DNA. This is what makes me up. Makes me me. 
All right, I'm a gypsy Jew. <laughs> I'm not going to answer any of this. It's as offensive as the bits that you said in. I don't think this is offensive as, as offensive <laughs> as that. Yes. <laughs> By the way, Nick DePaul is in here late at night. There's no one around, mm-hmm. and he shuts every curtain. It's like Does a, he? yeah, it's like a tomb in here. Yeah, it is. It is a uh, all pulled curtains, very dark. Remember when isolated. we used to have pulled curtains because it would freak somebody out mm-hmm. every day? Yeah. Now I feel like why were we that claustrophobic? <laughs> this right here, everything all lit up. That's the life. I yeah. wish this was three sixty glass. Yeah, I wish Chris was glass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be Glass. You can be Ron Glass, the great actor. All right. All right, now let's turn it around. You know what? At first I thought it was bad, now it's becoming a positive. But when these things are pulled, it's really dark and weird in here. Yes, we already discussed that a while ago. We went on until you went on your glass. I used to have glass of the mind. I will say this. If you were Ron Glass, Vita would be a glass blower. (laughs) Suck it. See what I did then? He made it seem like he was going to perform oral sex on him. I did try to come up with a game show called Guess What You're Sucking. <laughs> and um, the networks wanted no part of it. Why not? I don't know, but you, you know how they... You pitched to multiple networks? No, here's... Yes, I went up to three networks, and you know how they have that fruit plate sitting there? Oh, yeah. They just pulled the fruit plate. Right <laughs> and I go... But I was eating the fruit, and I go like this. We're not wasting fruit on somebody <laughs> who, call, who does a show called guess what you're sucking pieces of shit yeah what you think it? they'd have a fruit budget <laughs> like, what kind of what kind of things were you pitching like what kind of things would the contestants be that's sucking? part of the fun we don't date it. at that point you don't know what they're sucking on you know what i mean it could be anything <laughs> so you didn't even give yeah. the network no I examples think, no, no i go it's it they're like, what are they sucking? I go, exactly. You have to guess. <laughs> it's harder than you think. Just start sucking on something. You don't know what it is until you have to actually see it. I'd have no clue. I'd be terrible at this. I'd play the game, but I'd be terrible at it. Oh, is it peppermint? Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm going to guess. I think it would work with no production. Right. Just a guy going, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. And actually, they took it the wrong way, but I go, I didn't say, who are you sucking? I said, what are you sucking? Now, give me back that can, Lil. <laughs> Rude. Rudeness is what ho- makes Hollywood go. I call it Holly Weird. Land of the fruits and nuts. You know? Well, not that much fruit. Two different things you could be sucking. <laughs> we thought the same yeah, thing, didn't we? Did. we? It's exciting. <laughs> That's exciting. Ugh. That's how you know it works. Yeah. But that's the kind of, you know, even if we had a game called Who's Got Your Feet, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know, is it a crab, is it a bug? I, like, I hate this game. game. It's a fucking that creepy bug game. wouldn't be great to watch. <laughs> oh, I'd love to watch yeah. it. I just would never want to be a contestant. <laughs> okay, it, it would be, it's like the better title could be what, What's Got Your Feet. Oh, and you Jesus. have to lower your feet into some water. <laughs> And you don't know what's down there. It's a usually sea creature? Sea <laughs> yeah. creatures sometimes will put a badger down in the water. <laughs> what's that fucking badger doing there? You Getting your feet. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Bing. None of my game shows seem to work out. It's sad, though. I know, you know? but you have so many, yeah. you know, that could work. That's how it is in this business, though. You, yeah. you, you just kind of keep uh, throwing shit at a wall. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Whose shit is it? It's always a celebrity's shit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this celebrity's diet's terrible. I tried one just called Buzzsaw Run, and it was right. a room of buzzsaws that you had to, like a maze that you had to get through. Well, I love the title. Yeah. Because uh, it gives me everything I need to know. Yes. But they thought that the problem would be, what if some of the contestants ran into the buzzsaw? Isn't that the, like, that's the fun part. Thank you. It's that's like, what I said. Like, will they hit that buzzsaw? Yeah. And they said that the only place that we could do this is in the Baltic area of Europe. <laughs> My home country. Yeah. They would love it. They said because life has no value there. <laughs> Your home region. <laughs> ah, this region. Yeah. Yeah. Sad white people. Mm. What are you gonna do? Uh-huh. Everybody, you know, everybody takes some. I mean, we have football. Nobody thinks that that's bad. Some people think that's barbaric. Mm. 
Some people are, you know what? <laughs> Look at him. Who's he's chucking a fucking. You can't do that, can yeah. you? Well, he didn't get the ball thrown at him. It makes him mad. <laughs> he wants the ball. A little slap. Yeah. He wants to get the ball all the time. <laughs> I was the same way when I was an infant. I wanted everything my way. You got to learn to share in sports. That's why I said to Sonny. I go, Sonny, you got to learn to share. <laughs> it's not just your ball. That ball belongs to both teams. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has to have a chance. Stop being greedy for that ball. Yes. <laughs> I wish every uh, football team in the NFL got a participation trophy. Because like just to make them feel better that they had completed. I wish a every team in the NFL had to fly their planes into each other every game. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta get from the right angle where you feel like you could have a, a safer crash. I, I forget what show I was watching. Well, first of all, this surprises me. We're one quarter of the way through the season mm-hmm. of football. It feels like it. Yeah. It yeah, didn't just... start at all. We're twenty five percent done, and they, there's only one undefeated team. And uh, I mean, it's not like they've been kicking ass either. No, they, they barely won on Monday night, Chiefs. On every night. Yeah. Every night they won. But there's no great teams. This is what we set out to do, not to have great teams. It's just, it's it's every every game is just like, it's fucking boring to watch and just like, I can't believe this is happening. It's really shit. If you're a general manager in football, now you got to go like this. So what do we want? A good offense or a good defense? Because we can't get both. <laughs> nope. Do we want to lose 45 to 44 or 10 to 6? We don't need an offensive line, right? I'm going to let everybody together decide. <laughs> All alone in first place, Philadelphia Eagles. Love it. Fly, Eagles, fly. On a road to victory. And tomorrow night, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are playing the championship team of last year. The Patriots of Boston. Boston. I said it. Not New England. I don't fucking pick multiple states. <laughs> I want cities. So, the I think it's a rush night, right? Since it's Thursday night. Yeah, there'll be rush colors. And also pink. Mean? It's like we oh, see somebody wearing all red and they're playing somebody wearing all green. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, well, that's when they like they were really ugly kind of yeah, it's pajamas. costumes. That yeah, they would it's wear. All, always Thursday nights for that. I really don't like that. What is this, Chris? These are, these are the rush colors just for all teams. But this is it's just like all just one single color. It looks insane. Um Is that the the Eagles on the far left then? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's like one of the least bad ones, but it's, Yeah, it still looks like them, they're wearing spandex yeah, for pants. Stuff. It does. It looks really silly. It's Star it's Starship Troopers fucking outfits. Thank you, Chris. Mm-hmm. Starship Trooper ba, ba, da, da, da. That's yes. The band is called yes. Um Coming up in a little bit, two of our favorite uh, comedians. Mike Racine and Tim Dillon are stopping by. Yeah. Uh, good. Now, let's try to have a guess right now. Who do you think is going to talk more? <laughs> I'm going to guess Mike Racine. I will bet any amount of money because I've been around Tim Dillon before in the past. <laughs> <laughs> and if we said, like, it's Trump and Tim Dillon, Tim Dillon would talk more. <laughs> Which would be a great booking. And I can't bump, bump uh, Dylan. <laughs> uh, Mr. President, you're going to be sitting in with a funny comic. <laughs> he also loves theater. <laughs> loves theater. He does. And would have the ability to be a theater critic. or crit- Now, you told me, Chris, that these two guys do a podcast or smodcast together. They used to. No, they no longer do. What happened? Uh, I believe Tim Dylan went over to uh, Gas Digital Network. And he does it with a Ray Kump. So why did you lie to me? Yesterday? I um I I still thought they did it one together, but then I found out they didn't. But wouldn't it be better just to have said so you two do a thing and then we'd find out why? Yes, that would have been better. Mm. Maybe I'll do a thing called six uncomfortable questions from Vito. <laughs> That's a good idea. Well hold on, this could be a good fucking this could be, your... this could be a great show that we could put on uncomfortable questions. That actually is really good. Yeah. And people have to tell the truth. They're in a lie detector. So it would be like, ever seen your mom naked? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> and then, like, strangely, he didn't. <laughs> Why would he lie uh, about that? It's <laughs> very weird. <laughs> First of all, someone in the audience just groaned, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're mm-hmm. you're mm-hmm. horrific. Mm-hmm. You seen happened. your mom fully yeah. nude? Yes, yeah, sorry, fully nude. Top and bottom? 
Yes, top and bottom. That's, that's fully nude. We live together. What was the... Uh, man and wife? No. <laughs> I'm living with her. What was the position that she was in? Uh, she was standing. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you saw everything. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, there was a lot of pubic hair, but yes, I saw it. Oh, God. I, I, you I, speak about your mother you. this way. Thank you, Jen, for that face. I no longer have it in me to make that kind of disgusting face. <laughs> She's so disgusted. <laughs> It looked like so that she had just tasted a lemon. She was so like contorting her face while you described your mother's. Bush. By the way, that uh, that oh. lemon would uh, be great for what are you sucking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's lemon. Wrong, bitch. It's a lime with hot sauce on it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make it fun. Did he have to call me bitch? <laughs> It's a mean spirited show. Uh, yeah, the show could be called What's Up Bitch. <laughs> and it's just misogynistic guys who are threatening girls by going like this What's up, bitch? Huh? What's up? Nothing. Why are you calling me that? It's the name of the show, bitch. <laughs> Fine. That's a word I find offensive because it means female dog. <laughs> I find it not so offensive, and I use it interchangeably with friend. <laughs> hey, bitch. What's up, bitch? You're taking bitch back. <laughs> I was fine with it ever since Elton John's hit song, The Bitch is Back, in 1976. <laughs> Elton said, and I quote, I didn't write any of these lyrics, <laughs> but I do sing them. <laughs> I can't write a lyric. Seems like you would be able to figure it out by this point. <laughs> Dude, I fucking uh, heard one of his songs. He wrote the lyrics, and it was just called Spoiled Appendix. <laughs> I'm like, you got to get some fucking help. <laughs> this is not, it sounds great. Yeah. It's catchy, but the title's disgusting. Nobody wants to hear that. Well, was I wrong? It shot to number one. <laughs> In Malta or Baltic, <laughs> the Baltic states. I can't. Now I thought you were from Malta. <laughs> That'd been interesting. For who? I guess me. <laughs> me alone. <laughs> you and the other Estonians. <laughs> Estonian Jew. My friends in the Estonian Jew right now. Who fucking? Wait, is Vito choking over there? No, you all right, buddy. Yeah, I'm fine. You look like you were choking. You were grabbing your throat. I uh, I don't know what. Just a cough came over me. Uh oh, he's uh -huh. getting your cold. Yep. I like that. I like that we have something together. Oh, Aww. that's horrific. That's creepy. I mean, that's gross. Right. Well, how'd you like some AIDS? Right. How'd you like to share that with a pal? <laughs> Fucking shut him up real quick, didn't I, Chris? <laughs> he looks like shit right now, Ron. You guys are always gacking up on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know, said just... gacking up. But that means we're only coked up when we do it. <laughs> yeah, we gack up on people. I don't mind. I like when the bodies hit the flow. <laughs> Let the bodies hit, hit the flow. flow. Let, Let the, the bodies hit, hit the flow. Whatever what? that's something. something. Well, the guy died. What? Did he? Yeah. His body hit the floor? Yeah. It Ironic. did. Ironic. Really did happen. Hmm. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Not that was a big Madden song. Many years yeah, ago, too. Like, Most of the songs I like are Madden-based. Wow. He even knew the name of the, uh, <laughs> the band. He went right for the it? title. Drowning Pool. Mm, that shocks me. It was the theme song for the WWE comeback of ECW also. That's right. Chris is the wrestling guy, not you. You know, <laughs> you know I'm sick of him just bringing up wrestling facts all the time. I had the WWE network. I borrowed someone's fucking username. You borrowed my username. <laughs> <laughs> just, well, you are someone. So we didn't lie. Thank you. Yeah, dead 2002, Drowning Pool. All wow, right. a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, I remember it was not long. I think after I heard that song. song. I think I heard that song after he was dead. Find out when Madden used the song, Chris. All right. Love that he's sitting there with a giant home computer, <laughs> a PC. <Invented> it. <laughs> it's a personal computer for himself. That was Madden Ten, and that was uh, also Lose Yourself was on that uh, soundtrack. And that came out. <laughs> that's, that's not a year. He was trying to stretch until he got the information. <laughs> also, lose yourself. Two thousand one. Big hit. Two thousand and nine. Yeah, oh, I told see, you so yeah, years so later you... before I got around to hearing it. And then I was like this: Let the bodies hit the, the floor. Let the bodies. Want something's got to give. 
Either they don't play music now or it's not catchy. I don't know. I haven't played a man in a few years. No, you're an idiot then. But I don't have a PlayStation <laughs> or an Xbox. You sound pretty dumb, Chris. I played it this week and I just remember that weird classic like do 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 What? But I mean, I couldn't How's think that classic if none of us know like, it. Cla- like <laughs> you know the classic. Classically generic NFL music that you'd hear on like video packages and stuff. What is it? I've never heard this thing. Yeah, Monika goes like this. She's sitting around with all these friends of hers. She goes like this. Ron will know. Ron, what song is this? <laughs> <laughs> I go, I have no idea. Frere Jacques? She goes, it's the MASH theme. What? And I go, I, I've seen every episode of MASH. <laughs> that that you just spit out not even close. is not the MASH theme. <laughs> There is a soundtrack, but it's mostly looks like uh, I don't know rap. That I'm not sure who these guys are. Oh wait, Amigos, I know them. <laughs> what Migos song? Oh, Kendrick Lamar. Here's the thing about him: once you start looking shit up, there's no stopping. He's, <laughs> it's long He's after old. anybody cares Looky and wants little. to be involved. And what's this song? Do 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 do. The one that fucking Vito swears he hears. It's the NFL films. Fucking music is what he's talking about. Has to be. Are you? I think that's what I was talking. Play it, Chris. Play the NFL films fucking music. <laughs> this is why people have a difficult time listening to this show. This fucks for no apparent reason. That's a dad. Okay, Chris. Stop trying to fucking Madison Avenue, all of us. Yesterday, we all had a slice during the show, and now I'm hungry this time. I know, me too. I'm so hungry. It's all from eating the slice. Because yeah. just from that one time. <laughs> Hold on, Chris is blasting music. This is the, the NFL film's music. Is, is this the song you heard? This is what I was talking about. <laughs> now, let's hear you hum along with it. Da, 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 da. That's not That's what you were doing, doing before. Mm-hmm. Before I did... Dun 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 My That's favorite thing thinking. is like when things aren't going well for Rocky and you just hear just like sadly walking by himself. Why are you playing, Chris? You get on the fucking thing where you just want to start looking stuff up. <sighs> Tim Dillon's coming in here and this shit's gotta stop no. now. Okay. Now. Mike, I sell my own sauce. Racine is also going to be with him. Oh, I hope you brought some sauce. I'm starving. <laughs> a spoon? Yeah. <laughs> spoon some sauce for yourself. I do it over at the, ca- the creek in the cave. They don't want anybody to know about it. And why bring it up, Mike Racine? <laughs> they say I can't talk about it. They end up losing their sauce license. <laughs> All right. Um... Are they here? Tim Dillon is here. Mike Racine is not. Break. Back with Tim Dillon. Bennington. Bennington Show. Happy day for us because Tim Dillon is here. Yeah. Yes, thank and you so much. Tim Dillon. That's so sweet. Now, Tim is the only guy I know that wears a sweatshirt that has a gobo light on it. Doesn't that look <laughs> like it's, like it's not light. really on there? Well, this is my... I don't wear... I wear a costume. This is yeah. my outfit for the yeah. next four months. People yeah. don't understand that. Yeah. When the season changes, I select a shirt and a pants, but and that's I yeah. just go. But it looks like a shadow of something rather yeah. than yeah. actually. So well, it's, it's comedy it, works. It's from Comedy Works in Denver, yeah. and they sell them like this. They're supposed to look worn. Yes. So, but everyone sees me, and they're like, "Oh, he just lives in that shirt." You oh, know? I didn't know that. People yeah. think people think that this is overwear, but it's, it's your it's your version of a jacket. You yeah, put that is, on over your shirt. This is my thing. I'm getting yeah. yeah this is i get excited in the fall because uh, I, I do a sweatshirt and jeans and that's kind of resp- like i walk outside and i see all the people in suits yeah 
Yeah. And I look at them and I go, that well, that's a life choice. Yes. And I have a sweatshirt. And I'm wearing these, which are, these are almost moccasins. Oh, the shoes I have nice. on. They look very comfortable. They're very casual. Don't they're you like, need an arch in the city? You know, you need some. You probably yeah. do. But these are like Key West, Conch Fritter. Gotcha. Just hanging out yeah. on the back deck of a, being yeah. like a private detective, wearing a Hawaiian shirt deal. Chris, you don't have a, a plug for uh, Tim? Well, well, Tim Dillon's in studio. Tim's podcast, Tim Dillon is Going to Hell, is available now on Gas Digital Network and on Twitter and Instagram, at Tim J. Dillon. Now, I also uh, wanted to bring up that you're going to New Orleans and you're looking for the best place. I want to go. I want to go. I'm, I'm there one night before yeah. I leave on the Impractical Jokers cruise, mm -hmm. which would be a lot of fun. And then uh, I want to find the best restaurant to eat in. Now, keep in mind, this is Halloween night okay that's a problem in new orleans yeah. which is crazy everything's going to be like an illuminati costume ball they're yeah. sacrificing people voodoo graveyard shit i'm down for all of it i just want to get some gumbo well you know, <laughs> you know emerald has a couple restaurants i do and he's great like yeah. a lot of people like oh he's just like yeah i've been to his spots before around and they're the, good they're I've very very good i've been to good. two i think yeah. two the one in new orleans and one in Orlando. Orlando. They were both great. Wolfgang Puck, that guy will just put his name on a pizzeria. Right. Like that yeah. I've been in Vegas. I've gone to a Wolfgang yeah. Puck restaurant and it's literally you could see it's still like whatever restaurant it used to yeah. be. And they just slap Wolfgang <laughs> Puck <laughs> over top of it. On the top and it's just hard. You're eating, you're like, This is disgusting. By the way, I want to ask you this. This is in the paper today. Yeah. Would you pay 20 bucks for this bread? Because there's new yeah. bread is the new thing. And you have neither one of you guys have any problem I have no at problem. all with that. I I'm, will pay 20 bucks. Yeah. I will pay. If you told me, oh, this is a really fantastic bread, I will well, pay that, $20. Well, that bread looks like a peasant bread. It's a hearty bread. Uh-huh. Because this is the season, man. This is the season for soup, You want to just dunk your... You, cheeses. Oh, my God. Look who's here. Mike Racine. And oh I haven't seen God. him in forever. Oh, my God. And look at this. He, oh, my God. He comes with a jar of tomato sauce. Yes. Yeah. Hey, look at this. Yeah. Now, do I have to pay? Last wow. time you got eight bucks from me. I did? Yeah. I thought I gave it to you. No, you said no. You said times are hard right now. <laughs> I mean, I know you're doing a lot better Thank now. Thank you so much. Mike, I'm going to ask you this question. Yeah. Would you pay $20 for this loaf of bread? Mike would make bread. Mm. Yeah, I'm a peasant. Yeah. Yeah. So this, I might I might uh buy just to see what it tastes yeah. like. Yeah. My dad makes his own bread too. And Mike made uh, pasta the other night. I went to his house. He had a, a bunch of comics at the house. He made pasta from dough. It's my new thing. And we all ate like a meal. Was it fantastic? It was phenomenal. Who were the comedians? Sydney Washington? Uh -huh. Yeah. Tim. Was no, there. here's the thing. And then are comedians nice or they have to make jokes about it? I mean, you made something from your heart. Did they enjoy it? Yeah, I it's a little weird because they're putting it on social media and stuff like that. Yeah, but, but that's uh, good. Yeah, I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to build his brand. Yes, <laughs> he may not be trying to, but I'm trying to help him out. Yeah, I mean, you think it's delicious, me for right? Pasta on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to sell sauce for him. I'm trying to help him out. <laughs> But by the way, like, really, it's, a, it's a good sauce, but I, I hate doing it more than anything in the world. I Why? Mean, it's like, <laughs> it's just, you ruin your kitchen. It's a lot of work. You, yeah. you, I, I spent I all morning cleaning it up. Cave. It's, no, I'm doing it in my apartment now because I don't want to do it overnight because I was doing it at the creek. I was there till five in the morning. Yeah. So I only do it when I run out of money. I'm going to give you $20 for this. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> just yeah. like a bread. Like yeah. a good bread. Yeah. This, this is worth <laughs> as much as a bread is to me. Now, I you just love Tim this Dillon is... on Instagram. It's but, delicious. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious. I love the idea of Mike selling his stuff at a farmer's market and be like, listen, I was close to homelessness, <laughs> and I decided to make just sauce. Just buy the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> What's the story of the sauce? Well, it's an old family recipe that descended oh, that's from my poverty. Pasta. That's my pasta right there on Tim's uh, Instagram. Oh, that looks beautiful. fantastic. It was phenomenal. No, I'm growing sauce. Is this though? That's just a, my marinara sauce. This is your marinara yeah. sauce. Yeah, look at that. That looks so good. Look at that. I'll tell you, once you start making your own pasta, it's hard to go back to the yeah. box stuff. It's hard to go back. But I have a place in my neighborhood that makes pasta too. So you yeah, know. great. I just do it with a machine, a kitchen aid machine. Yeah, but it's an entirely like different thing than when people think of pasta. Oh, look who it's commented. Oh, look what we got. <laughs> Uh, my ex. His ex-girlfriend. Really? This looks so good, even the delicate dusting of farts. It's like, can't, just can't stay away from me. She was a comic? Yeah. Do we all know her? Uh, I, uh, I know her. Yeah, is she a nice person, or is she... She seems nice. Right. Yeah, but she seems lovely. Why'd you guys break up? 
I threw a fan into a wall. Okay. Yeah. I don't do it. Mm. Yeah. Women have real... I mean... Uh, I was Talk about sensitive. Was yeah, it a fan very... of your comedy? Or <laughs> 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 no. Those don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I just want to let everyone know. Mike Racine's in the studio. Good. He's going to be at Dead Crow in Wilmington, North Carolina this weekend, October 6th and 7th. Go to deadcrowcomedy.com for tickets on Twitter, at Mike Racine. And Tim Dillon's here as well. Tim's podcast, Tim Dillon's Going to Hell, is available now on Gas Digital network on twitter and instagram at tim j Dillon. nothing says comedy like dead crow <laughs> you it's think cr- it would be yeah you know, uh, yeah that's a good club though come back to that yeah, yeah tim yeah. just did it great club well, i'm sorry why doesn't he have on the sweatshirt <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to tell. they didn't give <laughs> me a sweatshirt <laughs> i only i only wear the things i'm given i did a club in jersey recently and the air conditioning the air conditioner was blasting the whole time the room was freezing and i complained to the manager a bunch of times and the last show saturday night he goes you know what I'm going to fix this. And he goes to the gift shop because it's in a hotel and he buys me a sweatshirt. Oh, isn't that <laughs> wow. nice? That's yeah. sweet. Yeah. That, that now so you're going to be living gonna... forever until another club offers you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you like to get, you like to cook for men. That's, that's I sure do. Yeah. yeah. That's what he does. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm figuring out who I am. Now you said <laughs> you brought some food too to Bobby Kelly. Uh, yeah, I, brought, I, well, I, I, br- I usually bring food to Bobby. I, I brought yeah. a, I brought a peach pie once. He got mad. He said it was gay. I brought a uh, uh, cupcakes. He didn't. He, they're too cakey. Yeah. He's now moved into the uh, phase of his life where he wants a, a breadier desserts, like more dry, like biscuits. Like he was talking about Colin Quinn had a certain type of tea biscuit. He's he's into that phase. That's right before you die. <laughs> yeah. 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 You start yeah. getting a taste sure for like <laughs> tea biscuits. He's yeah. 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 tea biscuits. It's, it's nice. like all the stuff you walk by at the store. Yeah. You're like, right. who buys Who this? eats yeah. this? Old people. That's yeah, like, right before you see Jesus. You start like getting a chocolate taste. chip cookie is too sweet to an right. old person. I know it is. Like, right. They're like, now, Gail and I have this disagreement because she thinks a pie is a better dessert than a cake. I think a I cake. This is a good. This is a fun conversation. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely pie first and foremost. I'm going to well. say this. I don't think fruit gets better as you cook it. Okay. I, Interesting. A piece of fruit Interesting. is the perfect way a fruit should be. Interesting. I like a cooked fruit. Yeah. Well, what are the, what are like the top three pie. cakes? We got cheesecake, probably number one. I, I like, don't even uh, consider cheesecake a cake, yeah, but it oh, is. Yeah. I mean, it's such a cake. Yeah. I think it's closer to cheese right. than it is cake. I find it to be a a cake pie hybrid. Yeah. So I think that's something we can all but agree it's on. It's closer to pie. Yeah, Here's the thing, though. If there, you never know what you're getting with your cheesecake, right? You can get this nice, flaky, cheesy thing. Or you get like a pudding that they're handing yeah. you around the country, like, yeah. oh, there's a slice, and you're like, what is this? You don't know yeah. what it is. It's like I made a, a custard. Almost. I made my first cheesecake last December, and it was not the consistency. Well, I would have been happy. You wanted. Yeah, I was not happy with it. I thought it would be an easy dessert, but yeah, to get the thickness, yeah. I don't know what they're doing. I will say this about mine was very watery. I will say this about cakes. You don't know what the hell's going on until you. You know what I mean? Like cakes. There's. I gotta be. I just just imagine somebody listening to this in Puerto Rico on a raft. (laughs) I'm like, let me tell you something about cakes. They're just trying to eat. You know. Trying to drink olive oil to stay alive. <laughs> um, but you don't, man, you don't know. I mean, you could look at a cake, oh, that's going to be great. And yeah. you eat it, you're like, what oh, yeah, the that's hell true. is yeah. this? That does happen. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah. sometimes the better it looks, the worse it tastes. Yeah, the, a pretty cake, <laughs> yes, not a good a pretty cake. cake. Yeah. Cake like, always looks good at a diner. I always look at the diner cakes. The somewhere. giant, yes. stupid, layered cake yeah, that they like have. Yeah. Yeah. Paul yeah. F. Tompkins yes. had a bit about this, and he said, you got to go with cake because of frosting. Yeah, and I would with agree. Pie, you get whipped cream, so that's an interesting mm-hmm. way to look at. Although it. red velvet cake, I'm sick of. I, that, I, I, I think it's overrated. I never been a, never been a yeah. fan. Yep. Yeah, never been a fan. Yeah, I, there was I, a resurgence of it a few years ago. There and I was. Think with the cupcake to catch on. Uh, yeah, phase. Ugh, I think everything enough. was red velvet cupcake. Yeah. Everything. Here's an underrated cake: pineapple upside down cake. Love it. I say it is rated perfectly okay. yeah. because I find it to be horrific. Now, see, yeah. as a okay. pie person, I'm like, yeah. oh, now a little something for me they in this cake. The pineapple. That's right. my yeah. biggest problem. That's an problem old school cake. Like yeah, a is. pineapple upside down cake is an yeah. old, sc- made by a woman who, who's illiterate. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? In a tenement. <laughs> in the history for, yeah. for an classic. abusive husband. Is the, in the history of father, uh, family gatherings, no one has ever said, we're out of the pineapple upside down. Right. Cake. Right. right. There's always plenty to 
to take home. I think <laughs> it's a pie game, man. Apple pie, pumpkin pie, banana no, cream pie, chocolate, chocolate cream, cream pie. pie. Now, see, you you brought yeah. up three pies that I'm fans of. I know, without not fruit. Cooked fruit. Because you you're like a pudding pie. You're, you're a pudding under the pie, impression yeah. that pie is a fruit game. <laughs> <Yeah>. My friend, <laughs> it is not. I'm a big fan of cream pie. That's a good point. Banana cream pie is phenomenal. Pizza pie. All right. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. Nice, <laughs> that kid. Get, get out what of about pizza pie? Well, let me just say this. When it comes to the cream game, I'd rather have a cream puff than a cream pie. Interesting. You know I mean? That's I'd fascinating. Like have that light flakiness. I, I love good, cream. Now, I'll, I'll tell, tell you, you what. I'll tell you yeah. what. There's a lot of bed. There's a lot of mediocre cakes, not too many mediocre pies. Mm. There I are agree. very few places a man of my size can eat a cream puff <laughs> yeah. publicly without without it being a real issue. You know what I mean? That is true. It just throws people into a different... <laughs> you know? It's yeah. odd. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, too. <laughs> um, I love a souffle. That's my favorite dessert. They're very hard to make. They're with the egg whites, and you puff them up. Here's and, the problem with souffles. Yeah. You get 30 minutes in advance? <laughs> yeah, it's wow. Yeah, yeah, right. I don't know you what do. I'm going to want. It's true. The restaurant tells you. And if you wait, they're like, you got to st- talk to this person for another hour. Yeah. I actually canceled my first date with my girlfriend to have dinner with Tim Dillon. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Listen, yeah. baby. Yeah. I mean, who's not doing that? <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. Right. That's a privilege. I've met her. She's a lovely woman, but I, I remember she'll be fine. St- at the beginning of the summer, you were really trying to push them on a summer dessert. Yes, at the year. stand. Yeah, what was that exactly? Do you I was remember? trying to do, I, I said, guys, the chef at the stand is sweet, man, but he doesn't, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, yes, the I English don't. is all yeah, over the place. Yeah. And all right. I said, do you, don't you think we need to think seasonally? And he went, Nadia! <laughs> and we went, <laughs> so he's smoking and I love him. He's a good, he's a good person. I think they call him Bamba, maybe yeah. his name. Bamba. But I think, I thought we should have done very simple, a little toasted pound cake, mm-hmm. a little vanilla ice cream. Huh. Let's throw some pineapple on there. Yeah. Some raspberry, little, yes. you know, but hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Yeah, I don't, I like the club. I like yeah. the food. I'm right. not, I'm not it's making like, demands. It's a summer dessert. I brought it up a few times. It yeah, right. There did seem like. There were people pushing your way, like, yeah, this sounds fun, until we got to that kitchen door. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then it was they didn't... shut down I, And I get it, too, because to introduce a new thing on the menu is annoying. Right. Yeah, you it know? is. But it's also like saying to you, like, hey, why don't you do a bit about the NFL? You know what it's I mean? Like, true. I don't want to hear that from people. Absolutely true. But, but if, yeah. You but do was... have to get with the times. The seasonal dessert is very uh, I think, fun I, for everyone. I think you do some blueberries, some raspberries, a little vanilla ice cream, you toast a pancake. I mean, yeah. come on. <laughs> this is America. <laughs> You yeah. know what I mean? Let's not get yeah. That's all I'm I mean, saying. It sounds simple to make. Too, I've right? said that at family Pumpkin. parties and yeah. have not been invited back. <laughs> I've been to birthday parties yeah. go, you know, not for nothing, but it's July. Right. And you yeah. got a melted cheesecake out here. Why don't we do something a little appropriate right. for the season? Yeah. He's tough, but he's fair. Yeah, you he know? Is. And a lot of people have said, like, oh, uh, you know, all these ridiculous, oh, your aunt has cancer. All these things that are irrelevant to me. That's irrelevant to yeah. me. <laughs> well, you're a you're a Long Island guy, and where are you from, originally? Jersey? You're Jersey, and and to me, these are natural enemies. But you guys have found a friendship together. I think they're natural, kind of. I think they're kind of very similar. They're, that's why they're enemies. Ah, interesting. Because they the one percent keeps us divided. Yeah. Well, right. what happens yeah. is Manhattan keeps you divided because you're. So much alike, and then it becomes this Springsteen versus Billy Joel thing. Interesting. They both want to be girlfriends with Manhattan. That's yeah. true. That I'm is true. I'm the pretty girl. No, I'm yeah, the pretty I'm girl. I'm the pretty girl. But, and, you know, they both are like, we get New York TV stations. We're part of this. Right. You know? Sure. And then Manhattan is just like a dick. Right, you know I mean, like a fucking dude, bro. Manhattan's like a cute both. girl who works at a group home, and Jersey yeah. and Long okay. Island are two people with Down syndrome who okay. are like, she's my girlfriend. Yes, yeah, they both. <laughs> that's they, so true. That's yeah. exactly they what it is. Like, yeah. I'm gonna marry her. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna marry her. Yeah, I'm and then she's yeah. just like, yeah. I like you both. Right. One has an yeah. Islanders yeah. jersey, my boyfriend. Yeah. One has a Devils jersey, <laughs> but they both have soup on it because they can't swallow their own food. It's like if you've ever seen a dog barking at a pond. That's how, you know, you're like, what are you it's fighting true. about? What's going on? <laughs> but you'll be happy to know this. We're walking down the hall in the Long Island. Um, medium? Yeah, the Long Island Medium. Oh, that's good. Scale. And fraud. And she's like, what? Don't I think I know you? Don't you? She had a very strange she, moment. She was like, I know you from somewhere. 
I know you. Yeah. So of course I was just like, nope, and I just kept walking. I I did you. Not. Did you did you give me money recently? <laughs> no. Oh, you're right. I am sorry. I don't really. You know someone with the letter J? Do you know anyone <laughs> yeah. with the name with the letter J? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that I hate out of all the stuff that they just get initials. Yeah. Like then why would that yeah. happen? If and then they say they're showing me like it's right. just like a ghost being right. like. Yeah. Jay, why didn't it say? Yeah, this, well, this like is my a, name. She's like a comic. I've seen her bomb and I've seen her kill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like I've seen her really connect with people, and then I've also seen her out there like, and she'll try to save it by like, hey, if I'm talking to you and I'm saying it might not be for you. Spirit's very funny, so right. spirit might be talking to someone across the room. It might not apply to you. It's like, well, what the hell's this? Like, <laughs> yeah. what are we doing then? Like, I saw her in a crowd once go like this. Did someone in here lose a son or a nephew? And I'm like, how could you? Pause? Yeah. You guys work in front of crowds. Yeah. Can you imagine digging your way out of that hole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a bit of. About her and I did it, and she was in the comedy club when I did it. Uh-huh. In uh, and supposedly she kind of laughed like she didn't care. Right. Well, she was kind of cool about it. I, I got to be honest. Cash. You know I what I mean? mean? Yeah, she's so rich. She, she goes. Uh, anyone lose a son? Uh, no, not your son. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, your, right. your dead son is busy. Mike Racine and Tim Dillon are in studio. Mike Mike will be at the Dead Crow in Wilmington, North Carolina, this weekend, October sixth and seventh. Go to deadcrowcomedy dot com for tickets. On Twitter at Mike Racine and Tim Dillon's podcast. Tim Dillon is going to hell. Is available now on Gas Digital Network on Twitter and Instagram at Tim J Dillon. Uh, Adam Wilmington. Robbie B. just wanted to pump up the Dead Crow Comedy Club. Loving uh, it, huh? It is a fantastic club. We saw Jim Gaffigan there back at the end of August Perfect. trying out some new material. He yeah. killed. Hey, he did his new material and killed. Well, that's good. Yeah. Good for Jim. Yeah. He's starting to take off. He's going to do fine. Yeah. Things are happening for him right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there you go. You got people backing up Dead Crow. Yeah, They're it's a great club. Place. I was there. It's, it's, it's a great little town. Wilmington's like a fun little town. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. You're going to love it. Thanks. Oh, it was your first time going there? I was there for the festival like a few years ago, but yeah. What was the festival? The, North the Dead Cow- Crow Comedy Festival. Oh, just them. They have their own festival. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're right. moving and shaking. Okay, yeah. good. Good for them. Some of these places, you wonder how they get their names, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But in that place is because the crow died. Yeah. Right. It's a pretty <laughs> self explanatory. <laughs> I just okay. love that guy. He's like, I saw Jim Gaffigan there, and we're planning to see Jim Gaffigan again soon. <laughs> yeah. We follow Jim Gaffigan. We love the club. <laughs> we love the club, but only when Jim Gaffigan's there. <laughs> yeah. In this, fact, if yeah. Jim Gaffigan played a Pizza Hut, we'd go to that. We like Jim Gaffigan. Also, I agree with you. Nice toasted pound cake. Some, yeah. Uh, but now, yeah, now, now we're done with that. Now, now we're in the fall, Ron. Yeah, what do What's you What's a fall dessert? I yeah. mean, if you can pull it off, the, the, but you got to do like a pumpkin souffle. Mm-hmm. That's the. If I've you never can, even had that before. If you can pull that off, you're the king. You're the mm. king of the fall. <laughs> <laughs> if you can do that. <laughs> do you hear about the big dance? They're going to have a king and queen of the fall itself. <laughs> <laughs> Are either one of you guys uh, sports guys, you football guys at all? Or a you little, care? A little bit. I'm a Jets yeah. fan, so I just kind of... Well, it's a good year for you right two. now. You're 2-2, two two, same as the Patriots. The, I mean, the, this is the best Jets year I've seen since, yeah. I guess, Namath. we got to go back oh, that far. Easily. Yeah. I'm not a huge football guy, but I love racial division. Yes. So <laughs> this season, I've gotten yeah. into it more and more. It's Stand been like, up. Yeah. Stand up, you I just, fuckers. I just watch for the anthem, and then I turn it off. Yeah. But yeah. I like to see people really you know, get in each other's stuff. Yeah. I saw a, I saw a vet take a knee. Um, wow. Or he'd lost part of his leg, I guess. Uh, so he'd blown up somehow. <laughs> so he was just kneeling down. But I still said, you fucker. How dare you? How dare you disrespect yourself? Yes. <laughs> what you've done. You your don't first support responder. you. Always the first always comes back to first responders. The first responders. Yeah. What about the third response? What about the people they sh- they who up. wait a little bit? <laughs> what about the people who wait a little bit, who don't run out of their house like lunatics and get in an ambulance to help somebody? Somebody who waits, looks at the situation and goes, where can I be best of service? Right. You know, Or even just they were farther away when they got the message. Yeah. You know, I would have been a first responder. Gotta, yeah, right. I came Do I have my third. wallet, my phone, yeah. my keys? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. I hate to leave without my kids. No, I, go crazy. I mean, listen, yeah. I appreciate first responders, but they got a real attitude. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They really right. have an attitude, these people. I'm the first, first responder. Like children. First, got like your a first. Yeah. Commenter, Just yeah. slow down. Yeah. You didn't even bring the oxygen tanks because yeah. you're so fucking right. much of a hurry to get oh, there first. The oxygen oh, I'm tank. an EMT and yeah. I save people's lives. Oh, we'll, we'll go. Good for you. Yep. So is everybody else. All ego. <laughs> so is everybody else. So is everybody else. Yeah. Who's not? You know what? I took a CPR class, too. I'm just not choosing to make that my identity. Yes. If you're a first responder, we hope you're listening. Yeah. I'll tell you with the doctors, I don't feel that they should be called doctor outside of a hospital. I agree. Just mm. in the hospital, you're a doctor. I agree. Here, you're a regular citizen. You're a regular yeah. Joe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? You're just like us. Doctors want to get better fucking tables at a restaurant? It's ridiculous. Why? Yeah. You guys love restaurants. You ever go, oh, a lot, great food. A lot of doctors hang out there. Never has happened. <laughs> yeah, <it's> never. <laughs> oh, we got to go there. There's a lot of doctors. And you know it's good. Yeah. Jen yeah. might want to go because she wants to marry Rich. <laughs> Jen's only thing is she wants to marry Rich and she doesn't want him to cheat. She's yeah. smart. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the only- Rich and loyal. Yeah. That's smart. Her favorite comedian, Kevin Hart. <laughs> Never, I've never heard of. Yeah, he's, he's one of to, those. He's, he's started, rich for sure. There's starting to be a little hum in this guy's career. I'm, I'm picking up his good. name every once in a while. I'm making a movie with The Rock. Hmm. You, you, you guys are wrestling guys, though, right? Not really. Every, I thought every comedian was a wrestling guy. I used to be. What happened? You grew up, you yeah. became a man, turned yeah. fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that the soda. He'd start swinging. Right you know, it's now. funny. They had the thing about the Ultimate Warrior. That like people are mad because he was like as a person. You, I guess he was kind of like homophobic. and yeah. mean. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, he was the Ultimate War. You know what I mean? It's like, but people. I, there's all these things now where you're like, you got to judge everybody. Like you just got you can't. Nothing can be. Right. You can't leave anything alone. So you're saying let him be anti gay. I didn't He's even the know ultimate. who the guy who played the Ultimate Warrior was. And now I do. It's like let the character be that he was just a dude who was in a wrestling ring and he was a great wrestler and let it be, you know? Well, he did uh, start the, I think he called it Warrior University, where yeah. he tries to teach his philosophy. Right. So part of his philosophy is the gays are. Awful, and they're against Jesus. Is that war- where is Warrior University? Uh, it's in the state of mind. I mean, it's an online course. Yeah, I think if you're going to that anyway, yeah. you're probably <laughs> not. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how. I don't know if you can be. I don't care what you think if you're have a degree from Warrior University. Yeah, somewhere right. in America, there's a guy who's like, yeah. relax. He's a homophobe. He's like, relax. I'm a Tim Dillon fan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I donate to his Patreon. You yeah, fucking- I love Tim Dillon right. and I love Ben Carson. Yeah. I'm very progressive. Yeah. <laughs> They're my two favorites, <laughs> Tim Dillon and Ben. No, but it's like, here's the deal. It's like, I mean, listen, man, he doesn't like AP. It's like, okay, well, who cares? Right. <laughs> That's the thing, man. It's like, this is my whole thing. It's like, I don't understand why everybody's self-esteem is contingent on, like, what people think. It's crazy. It's crazy. Well, for me, it's just that everyone gets to use the bathroom. Other than that, I don't care. Just, like, keep the bathrooms open. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Chris just did his DNA test today. Yeah. Found out he's 18.9%. Jewish, and he had oh, no boy. idea yeah. that. I would kind of like you to leave. But, um, <laughs> yes. Sorry, I don't like and up to this all. point, you've been fairly anti-Semitic. I've life. said plenty of anti-Semitic yeah. things. Yes, and now how do yeah. you feel about the, the Jews? Dove, I love them. They're my tribe. They're my people. Yeah, I mean, nineteen percent. Let's, let's call it well, twenty. Let's call it a fifth. That's crazy. Hmm. How are you going to change? I guess I'll start celebrating the high holidays uh, tonight. <laughs> tonight yeah. you going to a hot? I, yeah. I think Sukkot. What is it called? Sukkot. Sukkah. Suk. Suck it. Suck it. Have you ever done ancestry? I've never done ancestry. I did it. And I wasn't uh, surprised by it. I, I, again, it was a Christmas thing. I got it. I looked at it for a second. And I can't even. Mm, Anglo-Saxon, Irish, yeah. some European. I've never done it. Put around. No. I think you there might even are. been some North yeah, I mean, African. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared to do it. Well, you're going to be 98% Irish. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, well, well, you know. <laughs> Uh, that, that's two uh, percent racist. Yeah. Like, I didn't even know this was. I had no idea this was a. Kathleen from the Bronx did it. Was more Irish than people who live in Ireland. That's, that's how Irish her people that's are. So nuts. So much that she, the probably cousins have married in her background because <laughs> right. it's not a big island. I've got a little German too. Yeah. So it is diverse. 
Irish and, and German. <laughs> Irish and, and Aryan. So it is a diverse... <laughs> Mike, you're all Italian? I'm five-eighths Italian. Five-eighths. Fi- Irish and Polish. But my girlfriend doesn't know what she is, so maybe we'll, we'll check that out. Wait, this is the new Make girlfriend sure or the no, ex? The, the new one. Well, okay. two and a half years, so... Wow, okay. Yeah. You know, and the and the ex is still hanging around. Still, I guess, still commenting on. <clears throat> she's in LA. Things. Yeah, yeah. doing she's, well. Yeah, she's doing good. She writes stuff. Jesus, you know that, that LA that me. LA angle. Yeah, just write commercials. You know. Yeah. Are you happy with your home security? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's you get into comedy and then right. you're like yeah. you think it's gonna be fun and then See Alice. You know, towards the end you're like I, I'll write a commercial for dog food. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it, you know what I mean. It's yeah. like that's what LA is. Yeah. It's like it's like a lot of people that are doing like writing jobs they don't like. Right. And New York City is a lot of people. Like performing in basements like yeah. every night, and it's just like, oh. You make your choices. You make your choices. And then I meet a lot of people who come from L.A., and they go like this, how come I can't get in any of the basements? They're right. The mm-hmm. It's true. You know, they, there was a guy the other night, he just got a big show here in town, and he's going to be staying in town. Yeah, and he's like, "How come I can't get in anything?" But I there's go? nothing better than yeah. seeing an LA comic come here and bomb because they do that thing where they're adorable and right. they talk like this, and uh, nobody's yeah. laughing, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you're a phony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tim Dillon and Mike Racine are in the studio. Tim, Tim's podcast, Tim Dillon's Going to Hell, is available on the Gas Digital Network on Twitter and Instagram. It's at Tim J Dillon, and Mike will be at the Dead Crow in Wilmington, North Carolina, this weekend, October sixth and seventh. Go to Dead. CrowComedy.com for tickets and on Twitter at Mike Racine. But you guys used to do a podcast together, right? Yeah, it was called yeah, Stude. Stude. It was about food. Yeah, and what happened? You just uh, well, because, Tim liked to call me a faggot. Okay, <laughs> well, yeah, was, that's not right. No, we just we got to a point where it's like food's great, but it's yeah. really hard to talk about food every week. Yeah, it is. It's very hard, especially in like the era of what's going on now. Right. It's yeah. like uh, all right. <laughs> there was always other stuff we wanted to talk about. We were yeah. like, how can we relate this to yeah. mashed but, potatoes? But it's like, like uh, another mass shooting. Yeah. And the thing about quiche is that it's. it's <laughs> Not served immediately, <laughs> but that whole culture, that foodie culture, yeah. I think it's, I think it's on its way out. I hope, I hope it is. What because nobody's funny. The whole, the whole thing yeah. with food is like, yeah. me and him were legit funny. I, st- yeah. I still think we were really funny about food. I think a lot of people get really kind of like, like I don't. Can I say the word cunty? Like, but yes. you know what I yeah. mean. Like yeah. you already did. The, yeah. May. Like that. That. And, and and I don't even mean in a gender specific way. I mean like <laughs> people just get weird, and it's yeah. like they're so. Oh. So Tim and I tested for a Food Network pilot, and we were the only comedians there because they found our podcast. So you think aspiring comics are sad? Oh, Imagine God. an aspiring food personality, dude. Just and then you see the knockoffs like, of like all the different personalities. So there was one lady there. Her name was uh. I, well, I don't want to say her name, right. but but she <laughs> was like a. Paula Dean knockoff, yeah, and she's right. talking to us, and she's like, you know, I had a heart attack last year, and I, I thought I was going to die, and I realized after that that life is short, and I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to treat like, so myself. A, yeah, she's like, so, and that's why how she got into pie. Yeah. So it's like, you had a heart attack, and your answer, your, your solution yeah. was, let me eat more pie. She like... <laughs> she turned around, and she goes, y'all never had a redneck grilled cheese? And we're like, what do you mean? We thought she was joking. She's like, it's a uh, grilled cheese with pimento cheese spread, deep fried, served with French toast. And like we're like, oh, this is a joke, right? Yeah. It's like they're dead serious. And then you have like the the you know the wellness expert, like this Asian lady who's like everything's <laughs> about being well and whole and whole, and everything's about wholeness and wellness. I go, you want me to get you a bagel? She goes, I no, I, I eat too clean for that. And then you have too like clean. a mommy blogger who like does these YouTube videos with her kid. And then you have like this, you know, the hot chick who's yeah. like, I love cheeseburgers, but you don't. <laughs> yeah. But she's you don't. The whole time. <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah. oh, I love cheeseburgers. Get them away from me. <laughs> that was an interesting. It was I love food, but not in my world. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of cool to see that world. Yeah. But you, both you guys enjoy restaurants, right? Now we I, love going out. We love I, eating. I, think. I heard he you likes say cooking. this before. You don't think any home meal is as good as a restaurant. No. Meal. Not one, he said. I mean, he, he really. said my pasta was good, His like pasta Scarpetta. Was very good, like yeah. like Scott Conan and Scarpetta. Um, I, I just think that. In you hear that, Scott Conan? I hope you're listening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you millionaire. Piece of garbage. Uh, I, I, Twenty-seven dollar pasta. I think a meal. I, even when you talk about holiday, you know, even holiday, you know, some really holiday home homemade meals yeah. are really good. But like, I don't know, man. The best meals I've had in my life have been in restaurants. I gotta <laughs> gotta be honest, you know. I love my grandparents; they made great food, but like. 
Some of the best food. I mean, I, I'm just a restaurant guy. You love restaurants. I love restaurants. I like to be served. Yeah. You know? Sit in like somebody's house. house on the road. Sit in somebody's house. I look at pictures of their dead kids yeah. while I'm eating. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get away from me. <laughs> I don't want to be what here about, hear about your, so your, your son got into college. Here's Good. A, this is a picture of my dead kids. Right. <laughs> I keep them on the well, table. It's just, with you know, it's like, eat. it's just, it gets annoying. Right. You know, it gets annoying. Now, what's your favorite New York restaurant? What's number one for you? I mean, it's very, very, very hard to pick a number one. I mean, I, I, I love uh, so many of them. And for I, 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 I could never pick a number one. I, I, nice I love thing. Il yeah. Molino. I love Il Molino. It's an yeah. Italian restaurant on West Third Street in Greenwich Village. It's it's one of the one of the best restaurants in the country. It's it's to me the idea that old school Italian service. We're gonna stuff you to the gills. Yeah. Like really good food. They finish food table side. I love Il Molino, but I love so many things. But I, that's one of them that I love. Chris, let's take a look at this uh, restaurant. It's a very famous. El Molino is very old famous. M M U L. Yeah. Now a lot of people yeah. like the, yeah, image. The look at it. It's yeah. like uh, it's like old school. Like if no, the, those are all the ones from around the country. Chris, what are but you if doing? You, if you do Il Molino NYC. NYC, Chris. El Molino NYC, but this is the type of food that's they have. nice. That looks good. Yeah. The Ritz Carlton. I mean, they, listen, they sold the name, so you have them all over the country. You'll have Il Molino drive through soon, but... Yeah, but I would eat everything there. That I mean, Pappardelle is a good... That's, a, that's an underrated pasta. The ribbons. And quality, yeah. quality Meats is a great steakhouse, too. That's like a real... And that's right around the block for it's you right guys. It's right around the street. The Quality yeah. Meats is there. Quality Italian yeah, those are is fun. up there. Those are fun. Um, but a steak... Steak, in New York, you're going to yeah. get a good steak almost anywhere. You're going to get you a good know, steak. You don't even need to be in a steakhouse yeah. to get a good steak. Yeah. You ever, uh, the less you mess with a steak, the better. That's why. Like, yeah, all you, you have to do is just know. A good steak. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. buy a good steak. I love Luger's and all the traditional yeah. spots. You can, you know, they're all good. And listen, man, it's New York. It's just like, I think the quality of food here is just pretty good because if it wasn't, you'd be going out of business. Yeah, but there's, a lot, there's too many restaurants that are going out of business. There's So I, I feel like it is kind of a crapshoot. Well, here's what happened. Sometimes. I had a little French place in my neighborhood. Loved it. Yeah. And they just... And the place did great business. They raised the rent, and there's some fucking chain coffee joint Ugh. going in there. And this is a place that everybody in the neighborhood could go in. Enjoy. It was great. I, I would stop back at Christmas and tip the busboy because right. this older guy from France, all the... All the waitresses were young girls that would just come over from France for six months and go back. He was the only guy that stayed in the Cokes. And this was a great neighborhood place, but they got priced out. Yeah. And that's the problem. And I mean, you would think, oh, they're not doing good business. But um, that place in the in the Lower East Side where, um, remember I took you, I think it was like your graduation or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this guy would do like crazy foods and all. He made that neighborhood come back because he had such a great neighborhood. Other people came in that was, and they priced him out. That was like the W WD forty. W D forty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Wiley, Wiley Dufresne. Dufresne. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. Peanut butter mm. pasta. He would do yeah. all kinds of cool stuff. But it's and a lot of these restaurants now are just like they're all for Grubhub and Seamless. Like I walked into a sushi spot the other night and they're like, You're gonna eat here? They were like, Right, I can't do it. They're like crazy. they were like, This is insane. And uh they, they were just because they, they're all just factories. To deliver food, uh, yeah, I I can't have delivered fucking sushi. I don't you have like, to eat it right there. You gotta eat it, it there, man. All these yeah. foods, like they they put this good food in a in a tin, yeah. right? And it's not you're not meant to eat. People are getting eggs Benedict delivered. Yeah, yeah what's this weird trend thing. with like not leaving your house anymore? Like if I, if I have to hear the the words delivered to your door one more time, I'm gonna I'm gonna stab somebody. Yeah, everything is like That's a subscription. Fun, uh, <laughs> really hurt somebody. Yeah, you're gonna go to prison. Like, yeah, sorry, but sorry. Uh, yeah. The, <laughs> all right. A French fry should never be traveled because unless you're putting it up yes. the, and unless you're doing like the brown bag and you're letting the grease even then it's not so you gotta great get it there very quick you gotta be a minute away they have this thing but, called caviar where they are delivering yeah. hun- they're delivering a like steakhouse food to your house yeah I don't what want are you it. doing it's high end seamless it's called yeah, caviar it's like never it's, it even yeah. a steak a steak is see. not is gonna be a different not temperature Absolutely internal right. temperature yeah. like you're supposed to wait a very specific amount of time for the juice to settle so you don't like is yeah, it what do you, you do when you're to... sitting in your house watching Netflix eating sh- a shrimp cocktail? Right. Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> this, it's just this is just it's an app. Strange. It's called Caviar, and this it'll go, it'll go to any restaurants. Oh, go, not, it'll go anywhere. But it's the best restaurants. Yeah, it's the higher end restaurants, 
and they'll just show up and you know stuff a bunch of oysters into a bag yeah. and then run up you know and so there's a kid with a yeah. master's degree on a bike who right. takes the food and puts it in <laughs> in, in, yeah. in to go containers and yeah. delivers yeah. Major in creative door. writing yeah. and now he's <laughs> delivering he's 37 taking yeah. improv classes he's delivering he's your omakase sushi meal so these are all places Jesus that de- deliver here around here yeah Maybe we should get on this. I know. Shop. I'm well, a big go fan to the of that. Top. What was the su- sushi burrito? Yeah, that's gross. It's a sushi okay. burrito. But it, is the that's idea of this that it's they'll, they'll bring you they'll bring you food that doesn't take their stuff to go? Yeah, they'll go oh, to yeah. like re- restaurants. Oh, okay, yeah. Those places don't deliver. Yeah, right. But the, but they're just restaurants that don't deliver. They're just so sit down restaurants. But caviar. Has let's see some more. Them. So it's like, we'll deliver from restaurants that don't want their food delivered. Yeah. We'll order it to go, show up, and then throw it in a bag. Some of these places, I'm not even crazy about eating there. Yeah. People brag about that. No, I'm sorry. I've been to Philly. I know what a sandwich is supposed to taste like. I've never had that place. That's near here? What? That one? That's in um, the big uh, hotel on the park. Mm. So enough with the pokey. Stop with the pokey. It's it's very popular. And let me tell you the problem with the pokey. (laughs) Fat people. Think it's good for you. <laughs> this is what they did with self serve frozen yogurt. We all think it's good. And Pokey's whole pitch is it's sushi without the rice, but then they're like, shh, there's rice. The whole thing is rice. It's a Wait, bowl of I rice. I didn't even know that this thing was at Rockefeller Center. I didn't know Blue that. I, sushi. I just saw that right now, yeah. What? And then my the Blue Pesh. Ribbon Sushi. Whoa, that's yeah. the first place that I got the Blue Ribbon Fried Chicken. That's a very light. Light fried chicken. I'm into, I don't like the blue I think you fried should fried be able to don't? order. Not a fan. It's, well, it's a little bland, dude. I don't even like, I like ordering that. pizza at the house anymore. You want to? I, eat? I oh. order a pizza. It comes out of the oven, and I eat it in a pizzeria. Uh, you know, by myself. No, um, <laughs> but I don't like the idea of even getting a click of weird congealed cheese pizza. Yeah, because everyone's ordering. Yeah. You're the ninth order. You're the ninth thing they're dropping off. You know? Yeah, it's a good point. It feels like there's a bunch of rich kids like who majored in tech or whatever, and they don't have their business yet. So they're like, "What can we deliver to your yes. door?" Yeah. Right. Oh, toothbrushes. Right. That's like the thing. Here's a bagel. We're gonna disrupt the toothbrush business. Yeah, God, okay. we're, we're rethinking the way that you buy toothbrushes. <laughs> yeah. No a, more. Uh, there's somebody that going wants to downstairs destroy anymore. Bodegas. <laughs> yeah. And they want to put yeah. machines in buildings of sandwiches so that you, you don't have to go to a bodega. It's like. What kind of weird? Sh- where are we going? Yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna have fortresses and never leave, and I don't like. Well, it. you saw what happened in Vegas, my friend. I'm not going to any more country concerts. Yeah, it's that very bad. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy out there. It's crazy. Chris, that's why I tell you. I'm glad we talked in. about uh, sushi for <laughs> yeah. 30 minutes. That's before we got to the. I, I yeah. could. I could do the that. Bee story. Tim Dillon, Mike Racina in the studio. What again with that? I saw that. Okay. Plug. Tim's podcast, Tim D- Dillon's Going to Hell, is available now on Gas Digital Network on Twitter and Instagram. It's at Tim J. Dillon. And Mike Racina will be at Dead Crow in Wilmington, North Carolina this weekend, October 6th and 7th. DeadCrowComedy.com for tickets and on Twitter at Mike Racine. Who, who Are you heading down with anybody? You just I'm bringing tripping. Dina Hashim. Oh, great. Yeah, so I'm driving down. So it's a better Bring way to live sauce. and travel and you're together and it's fun, mm-hmm. right? Sure is. It's uh, who do you like to be on the road with? Me? You, yeah, I go alone, just a hundred percent. Yeah, alone. I don't. You know, but you're a friend maker, right? Wherever you go, I'm a friend maker, and I just, I don't, I just let you whatever. Yeah, because there are kids that live down there that want to work these clubs, right? You know what I mean? So I, they end up doing it, and like, if I can bring somebody, I'll bring somebody who's younger, who's like twenty two or twenty three, who's still excited about comedy, right? Because if you bring someone who's thirty, it's yeah. just like a suicide festival yeah. of people going. I don't know if it's gonna. Happen. Yeah, I got a few <laughs> things, but if that doesn't happen, man, I don't know. Right. So you can't do that. So it's either just the, the people from the area, yeah. or I'll bring like a, a young, like enthusiastic person. This is yeah. a young man's game. But really you never, is. You, yeah. you never get thrown off if it's a bad gig or anything. You just roll with it. I think it's fun. I do yeah. gigs whatever because like I because I don't want to do those writing jobs. I yeah. have to take every single gig. I mean, I did a rehab gig in a uh, in a in a, uh, a Native American uh, camp site in Western Massachusetts, and there were people there with staffs like Gandalf, like Lord of the Rings, a staff, and there were guys with staffs. And it's like, well, I can't complain about that because I don't want to yeah. sit for ten hours in a writer's room and like write like twenty <laughs> things you didn't know about earthquakes or whatever they now consider. They're a like comedy Tim, show. Uh, we need fifty dog puns. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Can you give us I don't want to do that. So because I don't want to do that, it's Tim's like, like they're fucking the kids. Yeah, <laughs> I have to just yeah. 
I have to just take whatever gigs. I don't get thrown off. I just, yeah. sometimes I'm doing something. I'm like, who? Like, I did a gig in Tennessee in a field recently, mm. and there was like five Labrador retrievers that were part of the audience. <laughs> and they were just sitting there looking at me. And it's, but it's still like, I don't want to be in writer's room. <laughs> so you don't mind. You're like, I'll do this. Yeah, I was like, I'll do, it. do it, you know? Because yeah. it's an adventure to me. And it's just, I, I'm just built a certain way where I like that craziness. But you know what Mike said? It's a young man's game. So is life. Everything in life. Is it? Yeah, Good point. Everything in life. Because I spent all of my 20s looking forward to my 40s because yeah. I was like working on the career and I was like, well, when I'm 40, it'll be, yeah. you know, it'll be good. I'm laying the groundwork. But now it's like. No, 40, you turn it? around, your friends are dying one after another. Yeah. You're like, oh my God. Yeah. And then and every fucking hero, you ever, mm -hmm. fucking petty dying yeah. was like a piece of me dying. Yeah. I never met the man once. Yeah. But part of it is just like, then what's the fucking. And point even the people you respect, like. Drunk gamblers that just have no, uh, you know, relations yeah. to anyone are now shooting up places. And you're like, right. oh, I can't right. even respect that archetype of guy, you know, that just drunk gambler guy that I just used to think but was a cool dude. You know, <laughs> that one from, hit him. I mean, you, hit him hard. The, here's the thing. <laughs> You've been to Montreal and you're you're staying in that hotel and it's the big crowd is out there. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the festival. They get pretty loud. You know what I'm saying? They I'm do. not saying that he was right. No. I'm just saying those crowds can get well, pretty you know, loud. And you know, you know Americans. Like, you know the next day people are going to Mandalay Bay for comps. Right. You know, they were like, listen, it was a little loud last night. <laughs> <laughs> We've been coming here for 10 years. Yeah. And quite frankly. Let's check uh, hotel tonight yeah. to see you know, if there's any deals. Be like, listen, I stepped in a pool of blood. And quite frankly, it's a Louis Vuitton sandal. So, any, you know, can I get a coupon for the breakfast? See, Don't you love the... The thing is, is people know that, so they do that, right? Yes. Why not get a coupon to people who don't fucking complain? Right. Thank you so much. It's a great point. Not yeah. You're not an asshole. Or, um, yeah. Yeah. If you put up with the noise, I don't know about it. I'm going to take 10% off your fucking tab because yeah. you're a good person. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut. Yeah. You know how many like less than experiences I've had? I don't complain. I don't, don't say complain. like, oh, this is not the burger I was hoping for. I'm yeah. just like, I'll eat this, I guess. Yeah. And as far as being a neighbor, I heard my neighbor sawing apart a body in the bathtub. I didn't fucking call anybody. <laughs> you know, because sometimes I get loud with the TV and stuff, and <laughs> I'm yelling along with a game. I understand. Who are these people, Chris? The I big stars? no idea. That guy's this is a like a hat. bearded thing. They, they might be here places. Jewish people. That's, so, oh, man, maybe they brought the tribe. What, what tribe are you in again? Uh, I'm, in the, I'm an Ashkenazi Jew, Ron. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Ashkenazi. That's the good type, right? That's yeah. a great mm -hmm. type. It's the yeah. best type. It's great. And the bad type is what? Oh, I think the whole tribe's great. Mm. Not to not to Hitler. <laughs> not to Hitler. He gives you a whole different viewpoint. Didn't like him at all. All right, we got to wrap this up. You guys are great. Seriously, listen, I love thanks for having us. Uh, if you want tickets to my tour bus show, timdillancomedy dot com, we're doing a, a bus tour. You've got comps already. Yeah, You're, uh, if you want to come, you yeah. you you both are. I, I, is this is part of the New York Comedy. It's Festival? part of the New York Comedy Festival. We mm -hmm. take a, a double decker tour bus around New York City. It's kind of yeah. crazy. We, we talk it's about rich fun. people. We fun. point out. Uh, we point out people in their homes, and many of them are not <laughs> thrilled with that. But it is fun, yeah. and uh, it's timdillacomedy.com. If you sign up, I'll, I'll email you the link. It's also on the New York Comedy Festival website. You can buy tickets. And if you would like a jar of Racine Brothers tomato sauce, yeah, I, I only make it when I run out of money, and I only sell it out of the trunk of my car. I don't ship. <laughs> I don't have a label. And that's, that's how I'm beauty. keeping it. Do you keep, <laughs> like I'm it. trying to keep it you. small, preserve the integrity <laughs> yeah. of the business. Right. You know what? This is the way keto started. You like Tito's vodka? Simple, yeah. Yeah, yeah. simple, yeah. Uh, simple label. Yeah. And look at him now. He's in over three liquor stores. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, over. Over, over. Definitely. Over. definitely more. <laughs> All right, guys. It was great to see you. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Uh, so anytime. Much. Seriously, to both of you. You're both so goddamn funny. I want you to take this in case you want to find this bread. $20. That loaf of bread. You want to plug one more time, Chris? One more time. Mike Christine's going to be at Dead Crow in Wilmington, North Carolina this weekend, October 6th and 7th. DeadCrowComedy.com for tickets on Twitter at Mike Christine. And Tim's podcast, Tim Dillon is Going to Hell, available now on Gas Digital Network. Twitter and Instagram at Tim J. Dillon and TimDillonComedy.com for all his dates. All right, that's it for us. See you again in 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, the evening is over. We hope you all enjoyed yourselves, and we'll see you all again in 1974. Good evening! Yeah.